Man, what up, world? What up, fight family? It's your boy Mac. We'll stay ready, boxing TV coming at you with some news you can use. And man, tonight we got the David Benavidez fight. Uh, and Romero Aguilo. David Benavidez versus uh, Romero Aguilo. You know what I'm saying? But first, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get this, uh, this rolling fight going. And I got my brother. He just jumped in the building, 503 line. What's good, my brother? Hey, what's going down with the box Mac and stay ready? Literally, literally jumped on right in time because I literally. Oh. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, man, I seen they just called uh, the stoppage because uh, Travis Kaufman got the, uh, the messed up shoulder or something like that. Yeah, he said, you know, he put a hold up in that uh, fight. And you know, shit. I got to give him his props, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude, a soldier. And, and and again, I fucks with him too, On especially on the strength of how he came out with that Black Lives Matter uh, interest, though. That was fire. I ain't going to lie. That was fire. That was fire. I like that shit. Sad did a, did a uh, moment of silence. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came out with the uh, I'm against police brutality. You know what I'm saying? He had on a Nassim Richardson shirt. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro paid hella homage tonight. You know what I'm saying? To everybody. So I got to I got to salute him on that, man. I always did like Travis Kaufman, man. I just felt like bro could never really get over the hump. You know what I'm saying? But but he didn't been in there with some with some killers. I got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? And all the while he ain't no ain't no punk neither. You know what I'm saying? He not. He showed me something today. He got a he got a nice ass uh one two. Uh, he, you know what I'm saying? It's slow, but it's 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 effective. You know what I'm saying? That jab was effective, especially tonight. What's up with it, D Hodges? I see you in the building. Stay ready, five hundred three LDBC. Salute, Chad and family. Salute to you, my G. Salute to you, man. I had to go live tonight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't calling the fight. But we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk the fight, you know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them that can go blow for blow, show for show, you know, like like a lot of these other channels, nigga. We came on here because this this one of my favorite fighters, you know. He he missed weight. I didn't get to talk about him missing weight. I hated that he missed weight. You know what I'm saying? That shit he lost the belt, you know. Uh and you know, it's I know he blamed himself, but let's be honest. Right now, with, with with everything going on with this with this quarantine, most of these fighters are going through a fat camp right now and trying to drop their weight. Even though you got to be disciplined and everything else, but you know this is first time in eight years missing weight. You know I ain't gonna be as hard on them as I seen a lot of other brothers. Hey, man, listen, man. Hey, you can say I, 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 I know that's your boy, man. I remember I'm right now. I know some fighters right now, literally right now. They fight at 140. That's 190 pounds, my nigga. <laughs> they got a right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, no. you got to think about it. this quarantine shit. Nigga, they didn't have no gyms and shit. And he had to bust his ass to get down and three pounds light. Hey, man, he he David Benavidez, my nigga. He can build a gym. You, you right? It ain't it ain't about building a gym. You know them last. I'm gonna tell you, them last three pounds could have been lost with a sauna, a motherfucking a weight room, getting on a treadmill. They ain't got none of that shit in the bubble, which they should have it in the bubble. Tell me, I'm lying. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, you, you you not lying, bro. But ooh, man, dog, this fight right here gonna be fire, man. They showing that to real guy Shane Lubin. I'm so ready for that shit. Man, my, my boy yeah. said she got Goose winning this fight, man. Ray, Ray Allen. Kill oh, him. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Go Goucher gonna be a tough, he's gonna be a tough cookie. But now nah, though, bro, on the cool though, my thing, my thing with it, and I already talked my little shit yesterday about Benavidez. I'm not gonna harp harp on it too much, but uh my thing with it is, man, when you a champion, bro, and you at that level and and you already been under criticism and scrutiny for Testing positive for cocaine and all this, and you lost your belt the first time. I mean, it, it just comes to a point to where you gotta start being more serious, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And and when, and when these black th- keep it real, bro. When these black fighters do the type do that type of shit, Benavidez did. They get run through the mud, bro. They do. They do. I'm not gonna knock and say they don't. But at the same time, how many times have you ever seen me get on tank ass? Not this. Nah, you 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 not one of them. You you more critical of fighters in the ring that that do dumb shit in the ring versus them doing dumb shit out the ring. I give you that. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, now they if they on some clout chasing bullshit and they playing with the fans, you will get on their ass about that. But like this little shit, like missing weight, like, you don't. Know, yeah, it's you know, it, it's it's up. Oh, I done, man, I be in there with them fighters, bro. I done seen them and they struggle. I done seen fighters struggle losing weight. They doing everything fucking right, and I literally mean everything. This quarantine weight that a lot of these fighters put on, a lot of them not gonna get this weight off. Some of them gonna have to move up. Cause I'm telling you, a lot of that weight gonna be hard to get on. Another thing too, bro. Not to cut you off, but I think I think David Benavidez probably started training camp too late. I, I, I agree. I think he did because if you look at Tank right now, you see our tank videos, Tank still got a pot, a pot belly. Yes, yeah. he training. Two months before the motherfucking fight. Here's the thing with that though. He's training to fight. He's not losing weight. That's the difference. You can train, but you ain't training to lose weight. That's a major difference. Right. Tank could be training to lose weight and actually drop that weight down. Yeah. Yeah. And- you know, even Earl Spence said it. Why he was having problems with Sean Porter and why he didn't knock out what's his name. He was too busy having a fat camp losing weight and not actually training the fight. Tank is training the fight and he probably gonna go through his fat camp later. Exactly. Because he already man. in everything. So I think bro probably he 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 see that's what I say like I think Benavidez probably started training like probably a month before the fight. You know what I'm saying? Versus you see dudes like Charlo and EJ, they've been they training months before the fight. You you see ringside with the Lions, you see Big Charlo, them niggas been training fucking three, two months ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? See, they, one thing about them, see, uh, the Charlos, and they different. They literally different. They gym rats. They never stop training. Even when y'all don't see them training, they don't stop training. So that's a major difference. You know what I'm saying? He said, I wonder who they're going to pick, you know, to fight for that vacant title. What vacant title? For, for WBC? Yeah. Probably Canelo, if he want it. I doubt oh. it. Uh, I think they're going to go with the, the mandatory, the one that yeah. he was supposed to have to fight. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that I, I, I was wondering. I didn't know this belt was on the line for this, this tune-up. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the line. You talking about for Roley? No, for uh, Benavidez. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was making the title defense. Yeah, mm. man. Shout out to the Black Banner of the Super Chat, man. I appreciate you coming through. That's Black Reality TV. Oh, that's Black Reality. Oh, my bad. Shout out to Black Reality TV. I said Black Banner, man. <laughs> I've been drinking, so hey. <laughs> you should have another cup to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get my drink too. Walking I think, out. Huh? I see Roly walking out right now. What where you at on yeah. yours? Yeah, oh, he in the ring. Okay. I like that red and black Roly got on I too. To you. you know, I don't like red, but I like that bitch. Me neither. I don't like red like that neither, bro. But I I like that. Actually, I like the hood. Yeah, when you went see red look good with certain colors, like like black, good. white, you know what I'm saying? You got to know how to mix and match with the red. Look at that boy, Coach Nick. What's up, Coach? What's going down? You watching the fight? Yeah, I'm watching it now. Yeah. Oh, what's going down with it, Coach? How you, how you doing? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? Oh, man. I'm, 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 we got some boxing back tonight, brother. But I'm all right. Man, we are here. I had to, I had to do this and go live during the fight. I ain't one that's gonna sit here and call it blow for blow, but we're gonna talk the fight while we watching it. All right. Talk about the court. So we got we got too much, you know, boxing to talk about. I'm I'm so ready to see this this Charlo versus Devin Franco fight. It's gonna be a good one, man. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be a statement fight, you know. Yeah. What you what you what you got? How how them, how they been looking in camp? Him and uh well I know you ain't been in mail, but how 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 big Maul been doing in camp? Oh man, he's looking good, man. He's looking good. Yeah, man. What's up, Power Up? Luke, appreciate you coming through. Man, I'm 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 so I I so need to come up there and uh yeah. check them out early in the morning. I gotta get my ass out the bed. Yeah, it's hard to get out this bed, ain't it? Man, especially during quarantine right. and all this shit we've been going through, I don't be wanting to move until about ten o'clock in the morning. Right, right. <laughs> but I know here they be they be up there early. They early. About five six o'clock. Yeah, they be up there early, man. Yeah, man. I've been seeing, I've been seeing, uh, I've been seeing my boy back in there losing their weight. Oh, oh, Jericho? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got yeah, that off of him, man. Have yeah, they gave him a date yet? No, nah, no dates yet. I know what he told me, but. Hey, yo, man, you gotta uh, run, make a run right here for right day, bro. All right, Joe. Who you got in this one tonight? I'm gonna take Romero, man. But the other key. He a, you know, he a cop as amateur, but you know. But yeah. You know. Do, you, do you think uh, you think Romero gonna get that knockout early? Uh, I think it probably go about four. Mm -hmm. He says it's gonna be the most vicious knockout he's had yet. Yeah, LDC. Shit, old kid, nineteen and zero. It seems like he a, he's a established fighter. So I just want to see how he is. I ain't never seen him before. I haven't either. But you know them Dominican Republic man. They they had them funny records, man. You know. Yeah, just like the Mexican fighters coming out of Mexico. You know they fight in in, in you know in like basketball or gyms. You know it might. Or the gym they work out and call it a pro fight. <laughs> I ain't know that. Yeah. That's too much going on. What you did you see Travis coughing earlier? Yeah, I saw him, man. That uh he he looked good early and then that shoulder went out and it was over. He was over, yeah. I think it might he might be done with. He's a good guy though, man. Yeah, he is. I, I really liked his 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 the way he came out. Yeah. Dude got a wide ass base. Yeah. He a counter puncher. Okay, it's base for defense. Uh, but he keep he keep his jab hand down too low. You know what, Justin to beat him, Romero. Justin Wood, Taylor. I mean, not Taylor. Uh, Paul though. Yeah, Paul. You know he fighting next week. They leave uh, Monday, I think. Where where are you fighting at Vegas? California on that port of okay. Oh shit. Oh dude might be a power puncher. You can't keep taking them shots like that though. Yeah. He got a shoulder, he trying to got a shoulder roll. Yeah. But look how he's reaching though. He's kind of awkward to me. I know that's that wide base, and he he he's got that wide base and he and he's leaning forward to throw that jab. He's leaving his chin out. He's gonna get knocked out early. Yeah. He shouldn't be leaning over that front knee. Right. At all. He need to whoever his coaches need to close that base up some more, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like how Roley's trying to stick the moment to throw that jack because he knows he's gonna launch in with it. Yeah. Roley can't take them punches like that either. <laughs> But you know what? I might switch. It. I might take this other kid. Yeah, the other kid is getting in there. Yeah, he making Rolly look bad right now. He does. I mean, he fight like like he in, in prison or something, you know? Yeah. He, <laughs> you ain't lying with that health and health defense. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey man, you ain't lying. 
Oh, I think Rollins got more power than him, though. But yeah, Rollins stronger than him. But dude got a longer reach. Rollins got to get inside of him, and he's steady getting he's steady getting tapped. I, I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna get this round to uh my my team Mon Marinez. Yeah. Be hard to say you can't forget the Cubans. Hey, yeah, you're right. The Cubans do have, but them Cubans, man, they not the folks over there. I, when I see a Cuban, he's from the Dominican Republic. Not Cuba. Huh? He from yeah, the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Now Cuba, that's a different animal Ooh, now. He's swinging for the ropes already. Yeah. Rolly kind of awkward a little bit too. Yeah. He is not an uh, when he, jabs his way in his he needs to start. Yeah, he do need that. Yeah, exactly what they said. I was just going to say that. They need to go to the body some more. Yeah. For Marinez, he's not a KO puncher, but I think, as I said, he's got to get some respect early with those power punches. And Romero will take him apart if he lands. This is going to be a. I think this is going to be a. a, a who you got uh, in his Benavidez? Uh, Romo, uh, I got being a media in by four, four or five. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a damn good fight. Yeah, yeah, he, D Hodges, he is rolling, he is uh loading up way too much, too early, way too early, man. Oh, shit. your device not connected, coach. Uh, I don't know what happened. He'll be back. What did it say? I guess he got a call or something. He need to quit kneeling down like that. That's where he's taking punishment at. Yeah, if Roller keep doing this, he's going to lose. Dude boxing his ass off. Yeah, he taking too many pops. He said, oh, there you go. What happened, coach? More than a soy. He said, said, my people, my people. What's going down? Champ, I can't wait to see you back in that ring either, Marlon. Can't wait to see you back in that ring. Yeah, Romero keep doing, oh. If Marina is keep doing what he's doing for these 12 rounds, he's gonna fuck around and you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you if you there, coach. Uh yo, let me uh, I'm gonna text him. Okay, now you get now you know get putting in some work. See what they gonna do. We well, say, man, it might be soon. You know, I will let you know. I already let me know. I, you know, I, I'm waiting to see what my is. Mahari gonna go to the fight or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh. Romero looking real awkward right now. Roley looking real awkward, man. Oh, it looked like he dazed him then. You should you should attack. You saw you see his knees buckle. That's when he should have attacked. And he going and it's a twelve round fight. What belt on the line? I don't know if Coach. I don't know if Coach there. He'll be back. But man, I need to pull me a drink. 
But Wally, yeah, I can't I can't wait to see you in that ring, man. I need to see some of that video footage, champ. I need to see some of that good old video footage, champ. Oh my god, What do you say, Rollies? Ah, uh, D. Hodges, I can't, I can't agree with you on that. I'm a Rollie fan, and I'm going with uh, Marina is on that fight. What's up with it, Omega Red? I gotta get out with the marinade, jump. No bullshit. He said, "So you a little bit ahead of him." I got to look. They started in the third round already. I'm going to get back over there. I just had to pull me a drink. Let's see. It's uh, Omega Red. It's Luke, man. Appreciate y'all coming through fucking with me. I had to go live for this fight. I had to. Hold on. Rollie looking too awkward right now. Now he's looking good now. But the first two rounds, I gave it to uh, I gave it to uh, Marinades. It looked like Rollie trying too hard to get inside instead of using his jab up top, working his way inside, then going to the body, slowing his slowing his opponent down. Now he going up top, but he's trying to throw lead left hooks instead of using his jabs to set up set up those power shots. That's why I'm not giving him like right there. He's not connecting those punches. He's hitting shoulders. You know what I'm saying? There you go, coach. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's throwing those punches, but he ain't connecting nothing. He getting beat up right now. Right. I don't see how y'all could have gave him two rounds of rolling. Right now he's he's getting tapped. He ain't landing punches. Oh, now that was a good shot, but he didn't capitalize. See, when you throw a good shot like that, he should have capitalized. He had him off guard. This dude rolled it horrible, man. Yeah, he, he man, he dazed him in the in the second round, and he didn't even attack. He stepped back. All that, you know. This is only the second fight I've seen a roll. Yeah. He threw. Did you see how he just threw that punch? Yeah. Did he literally just <laughs> like he was for the swing of baseball bat? Uh. Come on, man, Roller, you got to look better than this. I like the kid. You know I what? A lot of his sparring takes, and oh, now that was a good shot. Finally, you landed a good overhand right. But he looks horrible right now, champ. Uh, he really, really getting exposed, bro. I think Justin will whoop that ass. Oh, Justin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Justin. That need to be the next fight right there after Justin do this fight right here. Yeah, they need to set it up. Tell Al set that up. For real. Did Justin sign with Al? He ain't signed with but you know, he he be on them shows. Yeah. I know that's why I asked. Yeah. He need to. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you who else I think will give him some work. I think Shock will beat his ass at one thirty. Oh yeah. yeah. Shock got skill. I know. That's why I say I think Shock will whoop that ass. All Shock got to do is stay away from that right hand. Yeah. He throwing lead level hooks. He wouldn't land that on shot. But if shot could just stay away from that, that overhand right, oh man.
Look how he's snapping his head back with the jail. That shit. Is... Man, what y'all got in the chat? What y'all got? How y'all got this for? Right, I just, I, I just can't see Romero winning this fight at this moment. Right now, he's down to me, three, yep. three zero. I'm like, all the punches that's going past dude head I, and, and getting blocked. I am not counting. Look at Roly lip. It looked like his lip starting to bleed. Yeah, he catch, he catching him. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all could not ain't nobody in the chat can tell me Roly winning this fight. Nah. And truly believe that shit. I'm looking at this. Roly do not look good, man. Yeah. Now that's what Marina is that is ducking his head going in like that. You can't do that against the power. If he hit you with a mean ass uppercut. Right, yeah. But Ro Roller don't have that in his repertoire to throw no uppercuts like that. He, I don't know. They said he. No, nah, that was the, that was Kaufman. No, nah, you you might be right because I damn sure ain't seen one. Being short, you should have that in your repertoire. I'm looking at this man. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what he's gonna do to get this knockout. If he get the knockout, it's gonna be a late knockout. It's gonna be off a mistake. They was going to jail. Now he's using jail. Fine, but you can't do shit like that. He just loading up on shots and missing. Yeah, exactly, bro. What's up, Mister Matt? What's up, man? Man, this dude just wild. Yeah, now he got a wide base. <laughs> yeah, Roller need to stop loading up. Ooh, y'all see that? Matter of fact, I need to bring that back. My goddamn son. Listen to me. Hold on. Yeah, all right, coach. Yeah, and y'all still got it. What's up, Anthony Bolden? What's up with it, champ? Appreciate you coming through. Now, D Hodges, I need you to come back over here, champ. Come back to the come back, come back to the front, the forefront. You said you had Roly winning 2 0. It's four rounds now. You still got if you had him the first two rounds rolling, the next two rounds, you should at least get him, uh, whatever his name. Marina, Marina is. Well, yeah, D. Hodges, because I, bro, I don't see it. Roly taking too much put jabs. Them jabs is, is is landing. Chris, look at look at how them that neck snapping back. He he's loading up on shots, not landing nothing. Body shots not getting in. Is hitting gloves. Dude is just really out boxing. It's all he's doing. He came to the game and just said, I'm going to box this nigga. And he, that's what he's doing. He boxing the shit out of Roller. Even though his stance is bad, even though that chin is above that knee, he just – and and he should be getting knocked out. But Roley ain't throwing that jab. You see how – look, he threw a jab and it – dude got good head movement. Punch is not, not, punch is not even touching him. Look at all these misses, bro. Ain't no way you could tell me he went in this fight. What's up, Mr. Munt? Appreciate you coming through in that super chat, man. I salute to you, man. Appreciate it, family. Everything helps, man. Do you guys, you got to do that. <laughs> hey, Roly look terrible, champ. He need to stop loading up on them punches, man. He missing too much. Look at 
Look like dudes starting to throw more power shots now. That was a, that was a late uppercut, but oh, I see what he's trying to do. There you go, roll it. There you go. You're gonna have to start counting. That's what he's gonna have to do. See, right now is when I need to act reach on the channel. I call Act Two. He ain't answer the phone. I might call his ass again. Act might be at work. You know what I'm saying? Act don't be answering the phone and shit. I'm gonna call his ass. You see your boy? We'll put him on, on speaker, that damn it. Yeah, he ain't awesome. He ain't awesome tonight. This is a good fight, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you, cause it just—it's one of those fights it, it throws you off. You, it's something you don't expect. There you go. Now there you go. He should have. He should. This is where he should attack. He had him off. He he buckled them knees. He should be attacking. What's up, Tay Tay? Salute to you, man. I love the, the combo early. I end up having to go get me something to eat, so I didn't stay on too much long. But uh, I'm going to go back and listen to the playback. Hey, but look, right there, he had him stunned. He didn't attack. Gave him a chance to breathe and let him come in. Right there, right on the chin. What y'all got? So, so what you got? Who y'all got winning that round? That was a closer round than the last one. So if y'all gave that to Rolly, I can understand y'all giving it to Rolly. Me personally, I got Marina as winning that, that round too. I like Rolly. I want Rolly to win. I'm rooting for Rolly. I should not be having the, the ops winning this fight. And there's no reason I should have the ops winning this fight. I don't even know who that kid is. But after this fight, I'm going to be looking for that kid. I'm not even going to lie to you. There you go, Rolling. But stop throwing that lead left and come out with the fucking jab. He said it's so close to the number of punches landed. Man, I, if they count punches that, that they sat there and, and roll it missed, and they, I don't know who the fuck counting. I don't know who, where CompuBox is getting their numbers from or what. Roll is just loading up on shots. He's just going for the knockout. He going to mess around and get hurt. He going to mess around and get hurt loading up on these shots. All right. All right, Coach. Coach said he'll be back for the main event. Oh. I don't know what to say. Oh, Rolly got one off then. Man, this look like he's got his punches back trying to cock shit back from Alabama and throw it up there in Connecticut, goddamn. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to do with them punches. This is a trip. Yeah, Black Banner, uh, Black Reality TV. I swear to God, I was thinking that shit. I was thinking that. I was thinking that if he keep throwing, if he keep throwing them, loading up on them punches the way he do, I was think I was thinking personally it was gonna be rolling. But at the same time. Dude been throwing some wide shots too. Uh like like that one. He got his hands down. And uh when he threw them uppercuts early, he was missing. He can fuck around and get counted too. If Rolling start paying attention. This one boxing IQ coming in handy because they both starting to get tired. 
Oh, right there. He ate that shit, though. He bleeding, though. He starting to end. Roley still loading up on them shots. Oh, he Roley might get the knockout. Roley might get the knockout. Them some mean ass power shots he landing right now. Dude tired in the bitch. He done tired him out now. Let's see where it go. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can't roll it this round. Roley got this round. He was aggressive, landed those, those good ass power shots. He was in there on that one. I gotta get that to Roly. So there we go. Roly got that one. Yeah. He got to keep that shit up. He not phased by those shots, Mr. Munt. He not. But Roley was still landing them. He busted his mouth open, and he was still getting there and landing them. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have been able to land them shots at all. At all, champ. He shouldn't have been able to land those shots, but he did. I'm ready for this fight, though. That's the fight I'm ready for. They've been a V-Dez, man. That's why. That's the only reason I went live. It's one of my favorite fighters, and I want to see him get out there and see how he looks tonight against somebody that's some, that's some knockout orders. You know? I think this is going to go all 12, though. I want to see what the unofficial scorecard say. I bet you. I bet you they gonna have roll it up. You know how them. You know how they do. Okay, I took. God damn, roll it. Yeah, I gave roll it that round. I had to give him that round. He looked good on that round. Damn, look at that. Four two. They gave Marina his last, what the fuck? That was the round I gave Roley. How the fuck? And then y'all gave him a round. He got beat up in clearly in the fifth. That's why I don't pay attention to the goddamn scorecard. But even though, even they got Roley losing. Nah, it ain't going to be an upset. And the reason I say it won't be an upset because they both two undefeated fighters. This is both of them first 12-round fight. This, I don't see a belt. And Roley is still a prospect. You know, you can't uh, – I don't see a prospect getting upset unless you get him somebody who hasn't won anything, uh, who's been losing, and, that, and and that's just a tough fighter. That he's literally – you picked him to lose a fight and he beat Roley. Only way you can – only way you can – only way you can – um you can – uh you can upset a prospect, in my, in my opinion. They're both undefeated. One is 19. He, the dude he's fighting has 19 fights with seven knockouts. Roley don't have what, but 11 fights, 10 knockouts. You know, he, to be honest with you, just by just record wise, dude is more is is more of a veteran. So it's, it's little things that he might know that Roley don't know because Roley is too busy going for knockouts. You see him loading up on every shot. See, this fight right here is going to be the fight to tell Roller, well, damn, I can't load up. I'm going to actually have to go in here and fight and set my shots up because his coaches is not telling them or, or teaching them how to set his shots up. He's too busy loading up on shots, leading with left hooks. And look, and look, he's trying to throw jabs with, with straight power. I've seen, like, key example, think about uh, Jamal Cholo's jab. He, he got a stiff jab, but he's not throwing it with power. Romero is literally throwing his jab from the shoulder hard. Like he's literally trying to trying to stun you with a jab instead of just actually using his jab to set up his shots. Sometimes you gotta you can't be forceful. You gotta use some power. I mean, you gotta use some finesse. But he's he's trying to be forceful in his shots. You know what I'm saying? And right now, oh. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know who I gave it around to. It was pretty even, but it, it was nice though. Romero got stunned.
You say Tay Tay great show at the yeah it was. Got in our face by shots. I got Roly three three. You say I got Roly losing. Will it be able to say no? I don't, I don't think so, Mar. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say unofficially. I think he up officially too. Yeah, he got that jab that <laughs> they can freeze you, man. That jab been crisp too. What's up, Jay Cooley? What's up, see the truth, bro? Roly can't box, man. He can't. Look at that eye. He's starting to, yeah, he's starting to get painted a little bit. He's starting to get painted a little bit, man. I don't, I'm, I'm going to tell you, as much as I've heard good about Roly, this is only like the, the second or third fight I didn't actually saw of Roly's, to be honest with you. I, I didn't watch a lot of his sparring and shit like that. But honestly, I just can't. How they was how he was talking how he would beat Tank or or Devin Haney or or any of them guys on one thirty five, nah, nah, and and I think if he fight any one of them at one thirty five, he loses badly. That's me personally, but if they move him in the right direction and start training him to box and stop letting him just load up on shots and and sparring and training and actually teach him how to box, I think he'll be all right. I think he's a little too cocky. I think he let that get to him because right now he's getting he's getting punished, man. What's up with the came to win? Salute, man. Appreciate you coming through, family. He's a, he's a, what he say? He said he's a prospect. He is not beating Tanker. No, he's not. He's not. Roly looking for one punch. Yeah, bro. That one punch is not that one punch not gonna get it. The dude is eating the punches, man. He just caught him with a power shot. Then he he ate that shit. Yeah, Roly would be stopped by Tank. Might fuck around and get stopped by Tank within the first three rounds. He need to go to the body of Black Reality TV, but I, I think he need to just keep sticking that jab in his face. He winning off of that jab. That jab is snapping his head back and, and controlling the fight. He need to keep that jab in his face like that. Keep that jab. Keep letting Roly walk into that motherfucking jab and just move around. Keep making a miss. Keep Keep moving your head. Set him up. Start counting the shit out of him. Like that. Look at that. Two-piece double jab. He's doubling and tripling up on that jab. It's beautiful. Yeah, power up. He is, bro. I, and I hate to say that shit. I don't want to say that shit. I don't want to believe it. But he really is. He sounded like one of them fighters that had a lot of power. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was a good left hook from uh, Mar Marinez. And and he just he just don't if he ain't realized by now them he eating them power shots. He said Roly needs to develop hold on. Roly needs to develop better all around game plan instead of being a knockout artist. Yes. 100% agree. 100% agree. Yeah, keep that jab. He is steady eating them power shots. Yeah, Marina won that round too. Roller got excited in the end and started connecting punches, but you can't win a round off the last 10 seconds of a fight. You need to control the whole round. I can't get it. I can't get that one to roll it. What you got, D. Hodges? Who you got on this fight? Roly got famous off sparring Ryan Garcia. That is period. Hell, to be honest with you, right now, I don't think. Damn, that left hook was vicious. I don't think. I don't think Roly can beat Ryan Garcia. Sparring and uh, sparring and actual ring uh, uh, fighting in the ring is two different things. Amateurs and and and, and fighting in the ring is two different things. Fighting pro is two different things. I, I I can't emphasize that. Yeah, you might be a sparring champion, but getting somebody in that ring and actually seeing what your skills about is is something totally different, man. True poppy, all the hype for rolling me. Yeah, all that hype, and then he got a co-main fight, so he getting me. He getting a nice check for this. One thing I say about Romero, he's using a lot of dirty tactics that, that ain't even helping. That elbow ain't helping. 
When the ref comes in throwing them late punches, ain't helping. He's still getting pieced up right now. He's still getting pieced up right now. He said, Roland, Roland can punch, but he doesn't fight. He just walks in and Roland looks like an amateur. That's because he only got 11 fights. And whoever his coach is ain't training him, ain't teaching him. He was fighting earlier, early on in the fight. He did some fights. But that was it. I ain't seen nothing since. He fainted then and got popped. He fainted then and got, and got caught with a jab. He doing a little bit. Of, he, he, he got minor faints, but they not telling. It's just like, uh, and I stop. You're not doing nothing behind it. You're not using the faints for, for good. You're not, you're not capitalizing on them. And like you said, he's just walking straight in. KP from KC, salute to you. Appreciate you coming through. Yeah, he losing this right. He he losing, bro. True Papa, he losing. Ryan with his new team will stop rolling. I ain't gonna say he'll. Well, man, you might be right. He might stop rolling. He might stop rolling. <laughs> he might. I agree. I think Ryan Garcia has a lot of power, and I and I just don't think he has the heart. It's it's man, bro. I swear to God. How the fuck y'all get rolling that last? Y'all is them unofficial scorecard. I don't know what the fuck they seeing. I'm looking at this motherfucker. Roly landed a, a couple good shots. Like right now, Roly is getting his ass pieced up. And in that fucking shoulder roll, like you say, Black Reality TV. Look at that power shot. He hurt. He's hurt. What are you gonna do about it? Good kidney shots. But go, he hurt. You had him walking back. You caught him. You cut his eye and didn't do, didn't even, didn't even do nothing with it. He's hurt right now. He's hurt. This fight, this roll, this fight for to get stopped. This fight for the fuck around to get stopped. Roll it, cut. Man, I'd be aiming for that eye like a motherfucker. He he got his eye shut. He can't see shit right now. That bitch hurt. I throw it. I throw it. Mean ass two piece. There you go. Right when I said it, he threw the two piece. Pick your hands up. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah. Roland lost this fight, and he ain't coming back. Look at that eye. I saw when that left hook connected. How he cut that eye. Look at that motherfucking eye. Your cut man better be able to close that shit up. It don't look good for Roland. Let me put this shit. Hold on. Shit, it still came from it still came from the hands. But when he caught him with that motherfucking that, that overhand right, that shit. They ain't gonna show that shit. Yeah, he good, man. I gotta give it to him. Yeah, he is good. What he said, Roly Roly's gonna lose and all the hype is gonna be gone. And I don't think his hype is still gonna be gone. He's still gonna have a hype, but every fighter lose. Every fighter got their day, man. Every fighter gonna have their day. Everybody not gonna have their Mayweather undefeated record. If it, you know what I'm saying, he can come back from it. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna fuck him up. But that's gonna, this is gonna be where somebody like Mayweather should come in his corner and say, "Man, look, you need to get away from your trainer. Come over here. I got somebody that's gonna work with you." You you over here fighting in his gym? Why ain't Mayweather his dad in his corner? You know what I'm saying? He's winning the championship rounds now, 10, 11, 12. And I don't see him winning not one of these rounds. Dude got his hands down, daring him to throw some punches because he want to counter him with a big shot. I see it. Look at that. Damn. Then not one of them punches connect. Dude, Bob caught. 
and should have threw some, didn't throw not one punch. That shows you that he he he's still learning. He's still he's still learning too. Because if that had been anybody, any one of these other top guys, they would have countered and popped the shit out of him. Stunned, maybe stunned him or something. But just when he caught them three punches, he should have came back with something. With something. Muscle memory would have told you to throw something. Better have Fury cut man for that Ala Walla fight, man. I don't know. That was a that cut. Damn, he took a mean shot then. Much, yeah, he is good though, bro. That kid can, but he really can. I like this kid. Hey, Roll is in the he's in the Mayweather gym. Why don't he got one of them? He should have Daddy Mayweather. Some teaching him something. Not a good, not a good. It, it, I can't say it's not. They both undefeated. This dude got a a, a more extensive record than than Roley. And and Roley is is making him. I mean, Roley is is making this dude look even better. So if he if he let's say this, dude nineteen and zero, Roley is eleven and zero. Roley can lose this fight right now because he dared himself to to go up and fight somebody of a high of of of, of, of contendership. You know what I'm saying? He can come back from this quicker than the dude can. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I think Roley can come back from it. Why don't you charge him? This shit should be charging like a motherfucker. It's not. Hold on. Let me see something. My back, my laptop not charging. I have to figure out what's going on. Oh, this. This one I see. Let me see. All right, there we go. There we go. We back. Look like they fixed that out because the old dude ain't attacking that out. But Roley didn't win that round either. He says, exactly. It's not over for Roley. It's not. He, he dared himself. He, he went up and fought somebody that he shouldn't have fought. He should still be fighting journeyman. Like, no lie. Roley's 11 and 0. He's not. Teofimo Lopez. He's not uh, Lomachenko. He's he. You know what I'm saying? He ain't none of these guys. He still should be fighting German. I, I I don't like to see a lot of these guys start moving so fast. You know what I'm saying? To just so they can hurry up and get a belt. I know they want to get paid, but he still should be fighting German. He still should be fighting German. He said, "What's up? What's up with it, Don Castro? What's up, homie? If he loses, rap? No, it's not. It's not. It's not a rap. You got to remember, he's eleven and zero. He's still young. He got a long way to go. I don't. I'm not gonna say it's a rap. You got look at look at um, look at uh Jason uh, Rosario. He Jason Rosario lost to um to Nathan Gallimore. Got his ass knocked out by Nathan Gallimore." People thought it was over. He came in, fought, fought what's the name, uh, J Rock, and won the title. He's a unified champion. I'm not gonna say one loss. Roley dared himself to move up and fight some 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 heavy competition and got his ass whooped tonight. I'm never gonna say losing is gonna end your career. It depends on how you lose and and when you lo lose in your career. It's still early. This kid ain't even 21 yet. He's 11 and 0. And he's dirty stuff because he wants to fight for the title. I'm not. I'm not going. My go nigga, my nigga. You know how many amateur fights this dude got, bro? He got like three something, three hundred and fifty amateur fights, bro. Yeah, it ain't no. Good. Good. It's far from over for Roley, bro. Y'all gotta stop yeah. doing this shit. Uh, I'm just saying. And 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 the dude. One thing I gotta say though, after the first two rounds, I ain't gonna lie to you. I changed my pick on this fight because uh. I picked Roley because I'm a fan of Roley. I never heard of dude, but the way dude came in and was beating beating up Roley in the first two. Roley and oh, 
Roland never really did nothing to, to combat it. He kept loading up on shots all fight long and kept getting hit with that jab. Yep. What's the truth? He said Roland ain't going nowhere. He Roland ain't going nowhere though. He just started his career too late. On top of that, he has an amateur style in the pros. That's because he just loaded up on shots. That's it. He, he, I, I think if Mayweather, because he, he, they not gonna let that. that that's, they not gonna let that keep happening. He's gonna have to get some shots. They, they gonna have to start getting some good time in the end. He said, "What you think about Devin Haney? Do you think I think he can beat the shit out of him?" Oh, good. I think he'd be me personally. Me personally, that's Black Jesus. I think he'd be gonna take up. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be beat the shit out of him. No Matanko is too short, and Devin Haney got a reach, and Devin Haney quick, and he and he can he he can counter. Uh, one thing that Orlando Toledo did when he beat Lomachenko is the way he was countering Lomachenko, and I think Devin Haney did the same thing. We're not gonna sit here and ask Lomachenko to lose it. Orlando Toledo, and we act like the fight wasn't. He, he was bullying the shit out of Lomachenko. This this was a very bad matchup, bro. They, he should still be fighting journeyman, man. He should still be fighting journeyman. I went to the elementary with both Benavidez. David got hands. I know he's going to be a champion. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, he he, he shouldn't have lost that belt. On a, on a, he shouldn't have lost that belt, man. I'm a, I'm a Benavidez fan, man. This is a learning experience for Roley. Better for his next his his next championship fight. Facts. Facts, Carla. We love El Bandero Rojas over here. <laughs> He said Ruiz lost to Parker, but beat AJ. Exactly. One fight ain't gonna, ain't gonna, ain't gonna, it's not gonna be your end all be all in your career. And then he didn't get, and another thing, he didn't get knocked out. He just got punished. It's a learning. You're gonna always go back to this. This is one of them fights you can always go back and watch your every mistake. Oh, yeah, I should have been loading up. Look, I should have, I should have threw the jab and set up with that right hand right here. Or I could have threw the jab. Went to the body with the right and came back with a left hook. It's, it's so much you could have seen with your own vision by just going back and watching this fight and how you lost. Better not rob Jackson. <laughs> uh, nah, man, they're not going to rob him. No, Show, I think Showtime, <clears throat> Showtime on point with this one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I think what, what Broly's problem is, what he got to learn from what I'm watching. He don't throw combinations, bro. He don't at all. You know what I'm saying? He don't throw combinations. He he think he you're not gonna knock everybody out with one punch, man. Hey, and then when he do throw combinations, he load up on every, he threw the, the biggest combination I seen him throw tonight was three punch combinations, and he loaded up on every single shot. You cannot do yeah. that. Man. I'm one thing I will say, motherfucker got a gas tank because he ain't tired. He's still loading up on that. The motherfucker got a gas tank. He, he slowed down though. He did. He, he did. slowed down. You know what I'm saying? One thing about this Jackson Marine kid, he uh why is he, he throwing his whole fight? Did you see that motherfucker the first time he just threw Romero been cheating a lot in this fight? I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, he is trying to get. He's trying to find some way to get a victory. Yeah, Loma knows that Haney would beat him, which is why the WBC got him franchise. Facts, I agree. Maryville, Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to Maryville. Exactly five hundred three. That's what Black Reality said. Salute D Lo four hundred four. Coach said he'll be back for the main event. All right. Yeah, man. Like I say, I like Roley, but I got to agree with you on that, man. He should have. <laughs> they threw him in here too early, man. I know that a lot of these a lot of these young prospects, they be having a lot of hype around them. But I say at least, you know. At Roley, at Roley's, uh, a dude like Roley, yeah, he need more time, man. He not he not on the level of a Teofimo Lopez or you know what I'm saying? He not he not on the level of a tank. But Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying? He 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 got a he got a little bit more to go. 
And, and tonight proved that. Yeah, because you know it was one of them fights where you going in with a boxer. You can't just load up on shots because the boxer is going to sit there and box. He's going to try to win strictly off of points. And if he see the knockout, he's going to go for it. But if he don't, he's going to keep boxing. That's what y'all trying to do. Hit, not get hit. And, and ro ro Roley missed on so many shots, bro. I was sitting there, dude, watching him just move his head the way he did. Just all he did was a little bit of head movement and, and countering and using his jab. That's what won him the fight. Simple shit. Sweet science. Simple shit. Yeah, man. Shout out to the um, boxing boxing school of Dominican Republic, man. Yeah. You know what shout I'm saying? Out. Cause, cause that boy been boxing. You know, you know that dude Jackson been boxing since he was nine, bro. Uh, uh yeah. They was. I was listening to the commentary. I had to go to the store right quick, and I was listening to it, man. They said that boy been boxing since he was nine. Um, he he was on the national team in Dominican Republican. He ain't turned pro till he was twenty five, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I like this little kid. I ain't. Gonna, I'm gonna start watching him. I I just like the way he boxed. The only thing I didn't like. Is as in the beginning he had a real real wide base, and he had his his chin above his knee wide open. And you fight the right person, like if he go like if that kid go in with somebody like Devin Haney, your chin is exposed, and Devin got a long reach. You fuck around and get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I didn't like, but it's gonna come with experience. The dude can box his ass off. I, li I like that kid. I'm, I'm going to continue to watch him. I'm going to be waiting for his next fight. He just made he just made a name for himself. So Yo, how, how many rounds did you give Roland? How many rounds did you give him? Two. Me personally. Mm. I gave him a six. I gave, I gave Roland a six round. And it was around that was it. That was it. Nothing but love, fam man. Salute. <laughs> Chris Gallardo dropped. No, Chris, that ain't even close to a drop. Roley got his ass whooped the night champ. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hey, you talking to two people that are actual fans of Rollies, and we tell him his ass whooped. I don't know this next I don't know him. Yeah, he got beat, bro. You look, you look at his face. You see the marks on his face? Bro got beat off of jab and head movement and, and, and the little footwork. Yeah, and a counter. That's it. A counter right hand. Matter of fact, he was getting countered with a jab, too. What? Oh, my God. They gave us it. They gave it to Rooley. Ah! Oh, <laughs> yeah. They cheated this boy. Oh, no, it's not out of line. Oh, that's fucked up. That's what fucked. That's fucked up, my nigga. The, you know what? <laughs> we sat here and watched this. This boy got it. Whoa. Oh, it, my nigga. Roley got his ass whooped. And Roley don't have a reflex to do this shoulder roll defense. He don't, bro. He don't. He don't. What do you say? They going to give it a draw. They didn't even give it a draw. They cheated. David Benavidez is boxing since he was six. He said, uh, and Jose. He said, man, all knockouts and them out of the clips. Roley lost, but watch this. Damn, what the fuck just happened? Benavidez lives and trains in Washington State. Awesome state to train. His gym is in downtown Redden, Washington. I am a fan of Roley, but he's losing and needs to develop his skill set. Look at this shit. They hit all the highlights ain't number Roley getting beat up. Just kidding. Told you. Bro, they they damn.
That's grimy as fuck. Bro, true poppy. They they yeah, they gave it the roller, bro. Hey man. And you know what's fucked up? I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I'm a Roly fan, dog, but that's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, box politics, box reality. He said it is Roly lost their fight, and I'm a Roly fan. Look, none but Roly fans in here. Got him. Yep. You probably not. It was a draw, but he lost, and I'm a Roly fan too. This is what's wrong with this. Exactly what's wrong with boxing, bro. What's up, Kevin Dunbar? Roly lost his fight. Man, everybody laughing. Bro, let me tell y'all some real live shit. Look at this shit. Look at this one unanimous. 118 or 110. How and where? What? The closest one is 110. How and where? Show me. Show me. I ain't gonna lie, man. Steve Farhood was on point. He had it one fifteen one eleven for Jackson. He gave, he gave he gave Roly I gave Roly three rounds just like this dude, bro. He didn't win no rounds, bro. Like, bro, he did his shots, dropped his hands, and started fighting him with his hands down, and started jabbing the shit, catching him with man. Look. Look, who do you think want to fight? Look at the Twitter poll. Nobody picked. Don't nobody in their mama believe it. all them twenty three percent. That shit right there is Romero. Is, is Romero seventy seven percent to twenty three? Landslide, bro. They need to contest the fight. That's bullshit. Yeah, definitely. Right uh, we might go. To be honest with you, we might go live about this tomorrow. We might do a lot about. Come on, man. Yeah. This is, bro. This is why boxing losing so many fans right now because bullshit like this. I understand boxing politics, but man. Keep shit honest, man. They can't wait his motherfucking ass off since he was nine, went in there and beat the dude up, and y'all gonna get his man. I, I like Roly. I like Roly. Roly got a belt now. He got the WBA title. Don't think got the other WBA title. Yeah, okay. Tank and, and Leo Santa Cruz, they fighting for the one at one thirty. Yeah. They ain't the one at one thirty five. So, that, so both belts on the line for the WBA. So, if him and Tank fight, it's gonna be a slaughter. Because yeah. <laughs> Tank gonna be the break. You see, talk all that shit about Tank too, and I'm like. Let me let, let, look. This is another reason how you know. Go look at this motherfucker's face. Look how bad he's beat up. Oh, dude, don't even got no marks on his face. Yep. A nigga had a nigga had a whole cut on the side of his eye, bro. Yeah. Whole cut from that from one punch to jail. You 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 think when Tank gets to jabbing on you and punching on you, bro? You think you gonna be able to stand in front of that? Bro, bro. D. just where you at, Tim? D. Hodges, because you, 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 I want to see if you still had that motherfucker like the judges had. Money talk. <laughs> Money hey. talk. Boy, I lost that fight. Facts. Facts, so icy facts. And I'm, I, and I'm a Roly fan, bro. I picked Roly to win yesterday on my on my live stream. You know, okay, I'm, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit, I'm going to, I'm, matter of fact, I done call act on everything. I'm going to call this nigga through Facebook. This nigga gonna ask to me, goddammit. Cause nigga, your boy. Hey man. They, they, hey, I guarantee you, if he wasn't signed with with uh Mayweather promotions, that wouldn't have happened. I guarantee you that. He signed with Mayweather. Y'all remember that. I mean, this is a Mayweather promotions. I'm just letting y'all know. Boxing politics rules, man. Like, y'all better start. That's why I fuck with Jamel Chola. That's why he my favorite fighter. Never leave it up to the motherfucking judges. This is a prime example why you, you always try to knock a motherfucker out in every fight. Because it is bullshit. Bullshit, man. And I want, and I, and I pick Roley to win. 
but he didn't win that fight, man. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going to come back on Stay Ready Channel and act like Roley was winning because I know he wasn't winning. I, I would be lying to, to him and to myself and to y'all. I'm not going to do that, bro. Bro, that shit is, that shit is crazy, man. <laughs> But Mayweather promote. I'm not Mayweather promotions pulled a golden boy tonight. For sure. For sure they did, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's some bullshit. I like Roley though. But tonight showed me he ain't really. He get beat by Devin Haney, Tiffany Lopez, Lomachenko whoops his motherfucking ass. Tank Davis. Oh man, Tank Davis. Man, I because he beat Ryan, because he beat Ryan up in the motherfucking in, in sparring, I want to see him fight Ryan in the pros. That's who I want to see Ryan fight now. I don't even, and I'm not a Ryan fan, but I think Ryan beat Roland. I think Ryan beat Roland. This is what I'm ready to see. I think my boy lost his belt, man. You fuck. Bro, I was ready to see you fight Caleb Plant. I'm the one that's been, 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 been a man. I've been taking up for you, David Benavidez, to everybody and their mama for fighting Caleb Plant. And I still think you beat Caleb Plant right now. That was in Dallas. We was right there. We was right there. I still got the video. Yep. Mm hmm. Damn. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Um, I got a feeling they finna pull some. If David been, I'm, I got a feeling David been the is finna get some work. I don't know why, but I just feel like that, bro. I'm just watch, watch this. Yeah, why, why, watch, watch Angulo, dog. I'm telling you, bro, Angulo. But what I'm saying is, damn, you do look, bro. I can see you were training and you look heavy. Damn. You no, know, you see that flabby webby? Yeah, I saw yeah, it. Flabby like a motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't never seen them flabby like that. But like what you said earlier though, bro. That quarantine, man. Ooh. See, I'm telling you, bro, ain't good. You you know he damn oh, moved. Oh, you you know might be that that I'm telling you, man. And Gulo is tough, dog. I'm telling I'm you. Saying, I went and looked at some of that boy highlights, and he kind of had me a little, little, little shook. But I still think Benavidez can get him because Benavidez is. Mm, I seen him take his mean ass shot. Bro. Yeah. Hey, from KC, no, no, I, I cannot agree with you on that. I, that was an action-packed fight from start to finish. Austin Tito Ortiz. David Benavidez and Caleb Plant, nah. Nah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't equal the hype, bro. Um Tito Ortiz and Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya fight is is somewhere around the range of Sean Porter and Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that would, you know, it's got to be action packed from start to finish. You know, almost like Oscar, uh, uh, when Oscar fought uh, Mariotti. Even though Oscar won that fight, uh, that was an action packed fight from start to finish. I think, I think, I, think, I can't say this fight. David gonna knock him out in six to eight rounds. I don't know, champ. I don't know. I say I say nine or ten, but if it go before that, I, you say six and eight. I'm saying nine or ten. Somebody getting knocked out though. Hella overrated, Daniel. Hella overrated, champ. Hella overrated. I lost a lot of respect for him, even though they gave him the win. I personally lost respect for him and his team on that on that decision because some like I I rather see him lose. And come back from a loss because the comeback story is gonna be better than than you taking that belt and now you thinking you done won that fight and you finna go to your next fight and get your ass fucked off. Because now, cause look, he's a champion now, no longer a prospect. Roley is no longer a prospect. 
Am I right, 503? I'm going to say this, dog. That's the interim belt he got, but he ain't no longer, he's no longer a prospect. You feel me? Championship belt. Right. But at the end of the day, he got some, he got some work to do, man, because that boy beat him. Yeah. I would like to see a rematch, me personally. I don't know if he's going to get it, but I would like to see a rematch. Um, Ain't nobody going to want to fight him now. Ain't nobody going to want to fight him because the dude can box his ass off. He's going to have to work his way back up. Watch. Yeah, it's going to go down now. I don't know. I ain't heard nobody come out to Nipsey, my nigga. It's Nipsey birthday. Somebody need to come out to Nipsey tonight, God damn it. Happy birthday to Nipsey Hope, God damn it. Yeah, man, long live the great nook, man. Yeah, yeah, Carl, he should give me that, that uh that rematch though. And he yeah, he got a bell. He ain't no prospect no more. Matter of fact, while we here, let's go look at the 135 rankings. It's stacked at 135. I know, bro. It's stacked. It's stacked, man. But I, I see a lot of people going in on on um Twitter. Now nah, on your chat, they say Roley had to fight one before it even started. Respect to Crawford team, but uh, Jose was too cocky. He my guy, but still never underestimate. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a fact, one. That's a fact, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, he has a belt, so he is not a prospect. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to Nip, man. Yeah, man. So we in box live. Let me see what I can. Let's go and go to 135, man. So, so at 135, as of right now, WBA, it says Vasily Lomachenko or Javante Tate Davis got the WBA bills. But this is these are the fighters that he got to worry about withholding that interim title. Robert Easter Jr. is number one. Ryan Garcia is number two. Jorge mm. Lenares is number three. Francisco Pantera is number four. Devin, I don't know who this Devin's uh I don't know who that dude is. He's 48 and 6, though. He's a veteran. Can't even say his last name. Uh Jackson um that's who he just beat. Jackson Marina is, and Rolando is number seven. Eurokas Gamboa. Josh O'Reilly. Oh, he needs to fight Gamboa. That would be a good fight for him. No, it won't. Yes, it would. That would be a good fight, bro. They gonna keep him in the fight and get Bull gonna be working the shit out of him. Cause I I don't know if he's ready for. I ain't gonna lie, man. I like I know Lenore is recovering from the uh, COVID, but that would be a good fight too. Him versus Lenore is. I'm telling you, David Benavidez ain't fought since 2019, bro. He fat, he out of shape, he he came in overweight. This dude at Gulo just fought in January. <clears throat> he beat Anthony Sims Jr., a, a nice prospect. Oh, no, hey, oh, Benavidez just fought last year. He fought uh, um, Anthony Durrell. Yeah. It was in 2019, bro. Oh, nigga, 20, well, yeah, it was. A, bro, if it don't feel like that. You know what? 2020 been fucked up. This point, that nigga been fucking, he been drinking, he been eating. You know the Mexicans. Probably fat. a line or two. No, Probably. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I'm he 23. He's he's boy, boy. I know. I know he been fucking. My mm. nigga been fucking. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. David been. I seen David been a video. Is chicken to fight. Probably with my boy, but just, man, shout out to my brother, Free Smoke. Where you at? Matter of fact, I need to go live. Man, hold on. Hold on real quick. Let me get the to my brother Free Smoke. Because you ain't got no wrench, bro. You got one now, Free Smoke. Free Smoke, Free Smoke. Hey, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah. Got to get one. Got to get make sure Free Smoke got a wrench. I didn't know Carl got one either. Yeah, Carl got I had to go. I fell in, the, in this bitch greetings from the north side. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, man. You want to come over? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? But Free Smoke says, stay ready. You're a real one. Been watching you for a minute, but just finally caught you live, bro, man. Appreciate you coming through, family. Appreciate you coming through. He said, I smell upset maybe tonight. I don't know about no upset. He better get the knockout because you seen, you seen what they just did to Jackson. Yes. Yeah, you think they going to do that for Benny? Uh, this is about money, man. He, he would have <laughs> he would have made way. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, shit. He's here. Coach Nick just came back. What's going on, bro? Coach down for Nick already, champ. Man, Coach, you see how they treat my boy, man? Coach, you hear me? Y'all hear you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You see how they cheated, my boy? Oh, they robbed him, man. That was a total robbery. Bro, he literally beat the shit out of Roley. Yeah. Literally. I only gave Roley two rounds, man. Maybe two. I, I, you had to give him that six round. That yeah. six round was all Roley. But I, 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 gave him, I gave him the first round. Yeah. Yeah. If you do that, then I give him three because I gave him the six. And I, and I think I gave him, I think it was the eighth or the ninth round I gave him because he, he actually was catching him with some of them power shots and was moving in on him. Right. The sixth round, he hurt him and it was attacking him, and but he didn't do nothing after that. Yeah. I mean, he, he got totally out of class. Man, that's how you literally outbox somebody. Yeah. That was that, that, that Charlo and Harrison won. Yeah. But but like his corner told him, he was definitely winning. But I guess if you're a Mayweather fighter, you're gonna get some calls. They they hey they golden boy at that boy. Yeah. I mean they got him an animal champion. Whoever he fights, they gonna knock his ass out. What's up, <laughs> What's up, Sam? What's up, man? Yeah, I got to agree with you on that one, Coach. I was just telling stay ready, man. I think um, Lenores will be a good fight for him or um, Gamboa. But, but if he try to fight a dude like Ryan Garcia or Tank or Lomachenko or Devin Haney or something, he going to get his ass beat. Oh, yeah. He got it. Definitely. Ryan, <laughs> much love, bro. LDBC, man, appreciate that free smoke. Salute, appreciate you coming through, man. The grind don't stop, champ. It don't. We got to keep going. I need you to start going live and talking sports and not playing Grand Theft Auto too, champ. Uh -huh. I have to watch you. I can't sit there and watch you play the video game though. But I'll be watching you when you go live. I follow you. Yeah. He said, yeah, uh, he gonna get knocked up. Yeah, I He said he bet you hundred push up uh five oh three. <laughs> what? That David Benavidez win? Oh, no, nah, I'm going for Benavidez to win, but I, I think it's going to be a good. I think he's going to get some work in this fight. Is Angulo dude is tough? Say, is that George Foreman stance that nigga doing? Huh. Don't it look down? <laughs> that high ass. Bro, I ain't seen nobody do that, that, that stance in I don't know how long. <laughs> Yeah, he 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 got that throwback fighter feel to him, man. He do. And David Benavidez got that footwork tonight. He didn't have that shit when he was fighting Darrell the other day. He was yeah. flat footed as fuck when he was fighting Darrell. I I don't think he respected Darrell power at all. At all, yeah. He respects his boy power though. Yeah, because he he actually used his footwork right, 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 man. He ain't got over 20 knockouts for nothing. I know. Mm. Uh oh. Carla, you right. Oh. Carla, you right. He is gonna keep that that, that uh Roly versus Tank match in the dog. He gonna keep that shit for a minute because Roly. Roller, well, you say he don't want Roller to get exposed, but he already got exposed tonight. Yeah, he exposed. He got exposed bad. He, he, like, like we said earlier, he, 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 he don't throw good combinations. He load up on every shot trying to go for the knockout, and he don't got a good jab. 
You can't load. How do you load up on a jab like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You use your jab to set up your next shot. I'm telling you, you out of in a penitentiary, man. <laughs> you, you did say that shit because you yeah. said that before you got out. Yeah, that was horrible, man. Justin to kill that. I had text Ronnie. I said, man, Justin to kill that dude. He said, yep. <laughs> they not going to give him that fight. They not going to give him that fight. Yeah. I'm surprised, Coach. They, they ain't watching it at the gym tonight. Yeah. They be damn penitentiary fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good uppercut. Oh. Yeah, David Benavidez is trying to keep his distance, man. He don't want to engage with this dude early. He don't. I, li I like it, though. I like it, though, because it's actually showing. He's fighting him like he fought Caleb Truex, bro. Yeah. I mean, not Caleb Truex, but uh, 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 who old boy he knocked out in Dallas? Who oh, you're them? No, was it? Hold on, I see. Oh. Yeah, Jay Leon Love. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Oh, oh Jay Leon. Yeah. yeah. You know why he was teaching this is Jay Leon and then start attacking later? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 See, but that dude ain't Gulo, man. You know that's uh rigging that old trainer he got in now. But I, I know, I know Rigo trained with running shields now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he does. You know what I'm saying? So, so this dude, uh, Doctor Pedro, whatever his name is, he's a pretty good trainer. Yeah, man, he's saying he ain't. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, man. Yeah, he wanted that body on David Benavidez though. Yeah, man, David Benavides. Yeah, he was start loading up on shots. He he let he let he let no boy walk him down, bro. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, kind of got like a Joe Fraser style to him. Mm -hmm. He got a step fighter. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Roller, new name is too sweet." Yo, uh -huh. Yeah. He said, "Pedro trained Cotto and Floyd. Oh, Cotto for Floyd." Mm hmm Yeah, that's man, that dude is a good trainer, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, but that was an ugly ass uppercut, David Benavidez. Don't throw that shit no more. <laughs> Make it a closer. Lean into it if you throw it. Yeah, that shit was ugly, man. I don't know what the fuck he doing. Yeah, that was ugly as a motherfucker. But old boy came back and threw one and overextended himself. If they yeah. were smart, he could have threw that left hook and, and ended that bitch too. Every tough test he faced. Roberto Ramirez for the title, losing that in the lopsided decision to make a men's here tonight. In the final minute, Alvarez. Yeah, old dude gonna overwork. He gonna he gonna overexert his uh, overexert himself. He he's loading up on his shots early. <laughs> Five rounds. I'm gonna say five rounds. Five. Yeah. I ain't. Gonna, I'm. I think it's gonna go into the late rounds. I don't think it's gonna go into the championship. I'm yeah. gonna say about eight or nine. He keeps sticking that jab in his face. Over half or straight. David Benavidez is trying to box. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga boxing. Nice I'm not. 
I've seen him box a few times, but Ooh, you know what? He's showing you something. He's showing you something else. Uh, you suck, Romero. <laughs> 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 yeah, he uh Damn Rolly, this motherfucker. Yeah, remember, yeah. Look at his face. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, wood, bro. I don't want to hear this motherfucker he talk. I don't either, man. Look at his eye. This shit down there closed. I don't even know what he's saying. I got the volume turned down. I don't even, don't really give a damn. I'll pull it up tomorrow. With that WBA title, you're going to have to fight. You you got an intern championship belt. So that means if Tank dropped the belt, you the new champion. You know what I'm saying? If if, if Loma dropped the belt, you the new champion. That's what the intern is for. Yeah. This motherfucker said he power punches. That's why he wanted to fight. I, I, I was a jab. Man. <laughs> yeah. If I was a jab, his eye wouldn't be closed. Yeah. And he, he got cut. Yeah. Now I'm Benavidez, man. Come on. I'm not used to seeing Benavidez go on the ropes like that, bro. Well, you know, he, he, he need to throw some punches. Yeah, man, he just can't walk and you know, throw no punches. They, they don't make no sense. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. is, though, that, that high there really can come out a lot, though, man. He, he a tall dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, and I see you. Trying to load up on one and get on the corners. We need to stay out from corners, champ. <laughs> For real. Yeah. I like to give the K the plan. Uh, you know, Kayla Plank gonna whoop that man, coach. All uh, right. I think Kayla Plank gonna whoop him. Oh, man. What you, 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 you got to have been a good ass and beat Plank? Okay. I guess I've been found just about 16, so. You need to get off the road. I don't know. And, and KP, KP, right? He is moving him back. Yeah, I've been saying that he's been walking him down the whole fight. Yeah, David, David's going to work now. Mm, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, this would ooh, hurt. Hurt. Right hurt. You might be right. Down goes David. Down goes. <laughs> Hmm. Got it. Got it. God damn. They didn't even count that. He took a I'm gonna rewind this shit. I can fast forward about this move. Hold on. Hey man. I gotta see that. Yeah, a two-piece stomach with a double cut body and, and he, he caught a punch. Okay. Hey, Gula, you better win. <laughs> you better throw some punches, This nigga caught a, a, a little punch and drop. And he said, no, not down. Uh, that nigga hurt. I had, I had to rewind this. I know that nigga got caught. Look, right there is when he stumbled him. And watch this. And watch this. And he followed him right there. He go to the left hook. Boom. Tell me that ain't knocked down. Now he slipped. He slipped. He's slow, bro. Hey, whether it's a slip or not, if you take the punch and you go down, what is it? He didn't hit him with nothing. 
You kind of like push them off when you're trying to land that left hand. Oh. But uh, I think I think he did hurt him though with the right hand though. He did hurt him with that right, but he slipped. I think they going to be there as one that round, though. The loss on the scales, how it's impacted him physically and mentally, or, or is this the benefit that you expected? Well, this is the benefit that I expected, you know, uh, fast, you know, fierce, ferocious, throwing and landing great punches. I mean, no, I might be that a pick for a cousin. What the fuck? He's talking about and, and angry that, uh, you know, that he didn't make weight and that he was going to take it out on a ruin. With a great response, you know, yeah. there are there have been defensive lapses. Come on, get off the rope. A lot in recent fights. In this fight, any of those defensive lapses are not showing up. But that one time, I will tell you, I know David Benavidez has got more power than dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. That kid got undeniable power. I agree with that. But power ain't gonna be able to tell you every time. But 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 I am seeing a different David Benavidez though, man. He uh he moving, he boxing, sticking and moving, going to the body, he jabbing. I I I, I like this Benavidez, man. He mixing it up. Oh, he trying, to, shit, yeah. he trying to knock this boy out with that uppercut, though. Yeah, I think he gonna get the knockout. Hell, to be honest with you, I, I might say it, it, it might be. Fifth to sixth round. Yeah, I, I give him. I give him eight, eight to nine rounds. I, I said eight to nine. I might drop. Yeah. Him. yeah, I think this dude. This dude he, he gonna burn himself out, man. Trying to walk him down and shit. That shit ain't gonna work. He already burned out because he walking back like that. Look, you see that? He's good. He getting ready to go. Look at that. Hey, watch that back leg. He shot him a minute ago on that bitch broke. He finna go. He finna go, cuz. Fifth round, like Coach said. I'm changing it. Fifth round, like Coach said. And he going to the body, too, though. He jabbing to the body. That knife to the body, a motherfucker. Ooh, okay, Benavidez. I see you. Oh, that uppercut came right there. Yeah, nice body cut. He not throwing, and Rudo not throwing no punches, bro. Like, he's he hurt. Punches. When he got hit a minute ago, that back leg fluffled, and he, he been, he, bro, he is, he, he can't. If he throw the wrong punch, he get caught. He out of there, and he know that. He trying to survive the round. His leg already broken in this round. He out of there. Next round. Mr. De Niro came through and said, man, salute. I hate to see this kind of rivalry. I know, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> that black leg, bro. He can't even get that black leg pinned right. That, I'm telling you, he's gone. Uh-huh. He can't even get his back leg right. Yeah. He gone. He he, he not gonna last for two rounds. Bro, you doing all that running and walking down, but you're not throwing no punches with him, bro. He not walking him down. He came forward then to get him up off of him. When he stepped back to to uh to sit back, he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't get placed his back leg right. Dude is gonna get he either gonna get dropped real bad or he's going to sleep in the next couple of rounds. Uh, I'm telling you. What you think, coach? Yeah, I see it. I, one more, I think. One or two more. Yep. Look, <laughs> somebody else saying to us about to be a short night. I'm telling you. Some people hold a job, Benavidez, it's of course a family affair. The, the boxing life is dad, Jose Benavidez Sr. is his trainer. His older brother, Jose Jr., 27-1, and one, has not fought since losing to welterweight titleist Terrence Crawford in October of 2018. And while the headline was Benavidez losing the title on the scales, we uh, should bring up, he wants... Let's see what's going to go down. He's 13 years of age. Oh, shit. Yeah, and then the weight loss. Hold on, Coach. I'm on. I had to mute you real quick, Coach, because I that that background, you know, they'll they'll uh they'll bang me for it, but it, it's okay. I I, I I you can just unmute when you get ready to talk. What do you say? Um. Uh, so let's see where it's going. Oh, oh, good shot. 
He got his he got some of his legs back. I see. So let's see. Oh, good counter. David Benavidez and got flat footed. He about to start loading up on some shots. He about to start loading up on some shots. What you think, Coach? Yeah, he loading up now. Five oh three. Yeah, man, he walking them down now. I, I, I like the aggression from um, Benavidez. Oh, he, he, he trying to he trying to time, old boy. Yeah, yeah. he looking for he looking for. Yeah, they got keep overextending like that though. Yeah, man, and, and Gulo just he he seemed out of whack to me. Yeah, yeah. I don't. He not he not he not throwing enough punches to keep Benavidez off of him. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he knows something gonna come back at him. So, <laughs> yeah, he already got caught a couple of times. That was a wild ass uppercut. What the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah he got caught with a precise one and, and balled the fuck up. What kind of uppercut is you doing, bro? I don't know. You see how wild that motherfucker was? Yeah, that's crazy. Left hand uppercut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, this, this I, I see a late round stoppage, man. Ooh, good right hand uppercut. Yeah. God. Yeah, hey, we. Hey, my phone about to die, but stay ready. I I hit your Demar. All right, hit me up. All coach. right, y'all take care, man. All, All right, right. All right, man. Be careful, man. All right. All right. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I. I I, th- I thought Angulo was going to be a little tougher. I, Me, I really too. Me too, man. Me too. But I, I, I think he respects Benavidez's power, man. That's why I think he, uh, he's so, he's so selective on his punches, man. Because the, the, his, his other highlight fights, man, he throw hella punches, bro. But he ain't throwing no punches. He not. But he also ain't really. Who is he really fought? Yeah, his, his to me his notable opponent is uh Anthony Sims. He fought he fought Zerto. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was throwing more punches versus uh Zerto. But you know Zerto just don't knock people out like that. He has he got more stoppages than knockouts. I like Zerto. Zerto he, Zerto he left top rank didn't he? Nah, nah, he ain't be top rank. I thought he did. Uh, not that I know of. Okay. I ain't seen nothing, but if he did shit, I uh matter of fact, let me go look him up right now. This thing said I might have time to see the UFC fight. Yeah, let me know. I, I think he did, bro, because they were getting fucked over. <coughs> WBO super middleweight champion. Oh, he came through with the with with the quickness this round. I like that. Coming out on fire. Now come on, David. Uh, go ahead and end this fight. He jabbing yeah, the shit out of this dude. He left top rank. Oh, okay. He said he did what Bud Light needs to do. <laughs> Not Bud Light, no champ. <laughs> For shit show. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Nice, nice. Ooh, good right hand from Zerto. I mean from um Benavidez. God yeah. damn. Yeah, I'm looking at it. This is it was a little more exciting earlier, but I think I think David Benavidez is a little tired too. But he's not throwing. He he's he's looking for more precise shots now. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Cause she is. Oh, good skill jail. God damn. Dude keep yeah. dude starting to fight like Rolling. He jabbing the shit out of old boy. Yeah, it looked like his right eye about to close. Yeah, that, that right eye about to close. 
He blinking like a motherfucker. Bro came back. He said he ain't ready for plant. Free smoke? I can't say that, man. I'm telling you right now, Plant might take one of them shots and start backing the fuck up. It's a difference. That's real power that, that David Benavidez has got. <laughs> That's one thing you, I got to say. That boy got real power. This nigga ain't landing not one of them power shots. What the fuck? And then and then Benavidez got reach like a motherfucker. And and that, that bitch know how to block good as fuck, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nigga, not one of them shots landed. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he knocked this dude out with a body shot. Because I'm I'm looking at them vicious left hooks to that body, dog. That shit look like... And then them liver shots look like they, they taking toll. This nigga gonna have a blood... Oh, god damn! Mean ass combination. And then Bob Nui there. Oh... Hey, dog. Mm. Oh, I don't know, champ. I don't know, champ. Hey, plan, 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 plan is going to be his toughest fight. I'm going to just say yeah, that, bro. Jamal going to be his toughest fight. Yeah, that's if, that's if Big Charlotte moved to 168. But I, I think for right now, I think uh, it's, it's out of plan and that dude came. Wow. God damn. I think dude is bracing himself for these power shots. It might be a late round because he know they coming. He know they Ooh, come. Out. That was a hell of an uppercut, bro. God damn. Yeah. You now your ass needs to stay off the motherfucking ropes, bro. Cause he you hurt. can't on the ropes again. It's <laughs> Pedro. You need to give your boy some advice, man. Cause he he getting he getting beat the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I I thought this fight was gonna be a little bit more challenging. But he making it real easy for Benavidez now, bro. He having his way, Hats, bro. And I think I think because Benavidez got a height advantage too, it's making it harder for him to get in with those shots too. Yeah, I need to see what I do need to see from Benavidez though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need to see more head movement when he fights somebody like Caleb Plant or or, or, or Jamal Charles. He got to get the head movement together. He really ain't got a lot of it. He can block his ass off, but he ain't got a lot of head movement. He can block. I give him that. Because old boy cannot. For some reason, man, he can't get on the inside of this dude, bro. He can't. You know why he can't? It's because he's not going to the body at all, man. He's not going to the body at all. What's up, Anthony Arello? He said, what's up, bro? Who's who's a better basketball player, LeBron or uh, or late Kobe Bryant? I'm gonna go with Kobe, and the reason I say that nothing against LeBron, but Kobe was a closer. Kobe knew when it was championship time, he didn't play around, and he went in there and took care of business. Remember, he only got two losses. That was the uh, Detroit, and that was because he was having beef with uh, Shaq, and then he he lost that last that last year to uh, the Celtics, and. It, 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 it was meant for him to lose that fight because you had to go up against a powerhouse in, in Powell Pierce, um, Garnett. Powell Pierce Garnett and Ray Allen. Then you got a young Rondo, you got Big Baby, and you got uh, K, uh, Kendrick Perkins. That was a hard hard team to go up against when all you had was Powell Pierce. And, uh, and Matt was Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It was hard. I got to go with Kobe on that. But I'm not going to say LeBron ain't right. They neck and neck, though. I love LeBron. I'm a big Le – I, I like LeBron. You know what I'm saying? What is that? He's not focused, bro. Plant is focused, and the footwork from Plant will make him – but you don't see he, – he was using footwork earlier to show you he got it. One thing mm. I – the video is, bro, is, is if he don't respect your power, he ain't got he, – he don't use footwork no more. He start just he plant his feet and wants you to come into him. He tall. That means you got to try to get on the inside of his reach, and you coming in and fit to catch these stiff ass jabs, like he doing right now. Look at what he doing. He's making this shorter fighter come in and try to work his way inside of his punches. Yeah, and I think I think I'm going I'm going for Caleb playing that fight, free smoke. But he gonna have to have a great game plan. Because 
I think Angulo was doing better in the, in the beginning rounds because Benavidez didn't know what to expect. But like, stay ready, to say if if you can't hit this, if you can't hit this kid and oh. get his respect, he ain't going he not gonna respect you, bro. And that's one thing Caleb Plant gonna have to do early. He gonna have to hit him and get his respect. God damn. That 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 end of that round. God damn, my nigga. Yeah, he, if you came, you got to come in. He respected the dude because he looked at his power and looked at his size and felt like, okay. But as soon as he started feeling your power when they don't do shit to him and he can block your shots or or, or something like that, he, he, he for the stand toe to toe with your ass. I see it. He's doing right now in the end of this fight what he did to uh, Anthony Durrell. At the beginning of the fight, he was moving his feet, moving around. You know, now. Bro, yeah, man, cause, cause, cause David Benavidez. See, one thing y'all don't know about Benavidez, and that, and I gotta give his his, his uh, team credit. That bitch sparks he he spar smaller and faster fighters, bro. That help him with his feet work and his movement and shit. You know what I'm saying? That bitch be sparring Sean Porter and shit. You know what I'm saying? He 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 spars smaller dudes, man. So that help him to move around the ring. That's why he able to move. People people think that he can't move and and use his footwork, but he really can, bro. He just don't do it because he ain't got to. So that, as a matter of fact, think about Earl Spence. Earl Spence can box, but he don't box because he said it ain't fun. He don't do it because I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Key example. <laughs> he back. He said, I'm with you on that, but Plant know how to hit and move out the way. Yeah, he do. He do. But this is the thing, though. And, I, and I'm going for Caleb Plant. You got to do that for 12 rounds. In that fight, bro. He hit Benavidez flush and get his get his respect and and get Benavidez to respect his power, bro. Benavidez is going to try to walk him down and knock him out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but if, but if he can get David Benavidez to respect his gangster and his power, <laughs> you say what you just did, nigga swung and didn't hit, bro. Had him on the ropes. He rope a dope him. Didn't land not one punch. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know, chill. I, and David do be setting traps. That's what they reach. He waiting on you, and when you come in and miss, that's when he go to your body. And them body shots are vicious. They need to stop this fight, bro. Nah. Like, he fighting back, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Nah, they don't need to stop it until bro give up all the way. He ain't gave up yet. He still got some fight in him. David Benavidez needs to just drown him and take him to deep waters and get it over with. Yeah, he really do. He really do. <laughs> I, I, I feel sorry for dude right now. He yeah. got hard. Like, yeah, he do. He, 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 he's Colombian, man. He's he from Colombia. So yeah. he's gonna have he, he gonna go out on this shield, bro. And I don't think bro ever got knocked out neither. So David Benavidez will make a statement knocking his kid out. Yeah. Damn. And still can't land no shots on this nigga, man. Oh that bitch can block his ass off. Man, he got this nigga out here looking like a Mexican Muhammad Ali with all this rubber dope shit, man. I swear to God. I swear to Come God. on, bro. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, man? Hey, man? I swear. I think he just stepped back just so he can come forward and get caught with him. He off the ropes, Angulo, dog. What the fuck, man? Oh, he caught him that time. He caught him that time. But still, one out of all them missed shots that he done thrown, Ooh, good love hook Angulo, but god damn, man, you should have been doing that. You're right. If he can't give him respect and he gives trouble, because you're right, it is 12 rounds. I'm telling you, bro. And then, like you said, Caleb Plant know how to stick and move out the way, but Caleb Plant ain't six foot five. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This dude tall as fuck. Well, he ain't six foot five, but he tall as fuck. And Caleb Plant is not nowhere close to his height. He ain't got the reach of him, so now you got to try to get outside of this big motherfucker. You got to try to get inside of this big motherfucker, and I think that's going to be the task for Caleb Plant. You can walk down Benavidez, bro, but you got to throw – you got to – 
in this, you can see in this fight right now, bro. And Gulo, he doing a, a, a half-ass job because he getting Benavidez in spots where he can attack, but he not throwing the right punches, bro. Because he really blocking everything that this nigga throw. That's the first time I didn't see him laying the left hook on that and on, on Benavidez at the whole fight. The whole fight. You know what I'm saying? Angel the real did a better job than he doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That nigga, and that nigga took you eight rounds to do that. Yeah, and Anthony Burrell was getting walked down the entire fight. <laughs> and look at this. This nigga is bobbing and weaving and on the ropes. Yeah, yeah. Get off the ropes, Benavidez, bro. What the yeah, fuck yeah. you doing? I, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what he's doing. He rested. You know how fighters learn how to rest between fights. That's what he doing. Let rest yeah. between round, in the round. That's what he doing. He ain't overexerting himself, throwing punches. He letting them, letting them work, and I'm just moving out the way. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's a one sided fight, dog. It's, it's a one sided beat, beat down, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's this shit. Yeah. If you if that fight was a little shorter, you would have buzzed the shit out of him. He said like, he got that Tony block defense. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. He blocking like a motherfucker, dog. I ain't gonna lie. That's a... ooh, okay. Yeah, there you go. He finally got one in, but he's still blocking. Fight it out, punch it out. Benavidez is lighting him up. Yeah, little Reggie Holiday, he is. He is, bro. Facts. And he don't want to go back. He don't want to go in in the. He don't want to go in the inside with him. It's too much power when hands speak. Yeah. Yeah, he can't go. He can't go on the inside with with him or Caleb Plant. Dude got dude. Dude ain't as fast as uh. Dude, and Angelo ain't fast as David Benavidez. But nah. and if you get on the inside of him, it's gonna it's gonna take the fight away from you because your 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 reach too long. But Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant is 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 faster than David Benavidez. But David Benavidez got speed. He got some good speed, man. Mm-hmm. And he got good timing too. Yeah, and to be so big, to have to be as fast as he is, you know, that's rare. He, to be honest with you, I would love to see David Benavidez get in that weight room, though. Not gonna lie to you, I'd love to see that nigga get in that weight room. It increases power, and and, and it, man, and with his speed, ooh, yeah, he can do some. He can do some um damage. Some, some some bench pressing, get his yeah, get his, I, his power up. He ain't got to do. I like just nigga. Just do start doing some twenty ones. Shit, start doing some twenty ones. Work on your work on your triceps, and yeah, do some bench pressing. Get them shoulders up. Work on them shoulders. Mm. Punches start looking more crisp and a little bit more power in them holes. Yeah, he trying to get some rest. Oh. That's if the if the round wasn't over, that might have been the end right there. Saved by the bell. Facts. Yeah, and Gulo tired as fuck now, bro. He tired in the motherfucker. Not gonna lie to you, sicky L. I 100 percent agree with you. This entire fight card was straight. Facts. The only good fight is this one. Because the Roly fight. Roley lost. They cheated him. I'm not. I'm. Not. What you want me to say? I mean, we already told y'all they're coming in, though, bro. Like, we know all the best fights is gonna be next month. Yeah. Terrell Goucher, Lubin. You got Jerron Ennis on that card. That's gonna be a good card. You got Charlo on um the 26th of September. All the good fights is in September. You know what I'm saying? We we already told y'all that. I was only I was only excited to see Benavidez fight, and I knew he was going up against a power puncher. But I thought Angulo was gonna do better than this man. But uh, shit, that that just let us know how good a Benavidez is yeah. coming off layoff in a fat camp. So yeah, and 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 then ain't had a, a recent fight. It's been a year. Who's better, Lakers or Clippers? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Clippers, the Lakers look like garbage. Even though they won the number one seed, I'm going. 
the Clippers are better. Yeah. And plus, and plus, LeBron hurt right now, and I think that's that's fucking him up. Oh, he landed some shit now. Come on, David, get your ass off the ropes. They need to stop this. Yeah, they really do, but you know, they're gonna let him make it. Oh damn. They, uh Caleb played the same height, but I think I don't think I'm gonna have to go look at the tail of the tape. I, I think David Benavidez's reach is, is longer than Caleb Plant's. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm picking the kid. I'm picking the kid. Oh. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Oh, Vita is walking down. Yeah. Oh, that that ear shot. Ooh. Come on, attack! You caught him with that ear shot. This motherfucker got a granite chin on him, boy. Yeah, because he anticipating them power shots. God damn. This shit don't make no sense, man. Nah, but hurt, you can see he hurt. We rolling with Tia Fimo over here, Playboy. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go with Tia Fimo on this one, man. Uh, Loma getting old. Loma not as fast as he used to be. You could tell in the Luke Campbell fight and the Jorge, the Jorge Linares fight, even in the even in the uh, Jose Pedraza fight, he was he got painted. He not he getting old. He not as fast as he used to be. Yeah, and Luke Campbell. Yeah, if, if Tio Fimo, oh, I thought he was for the drop right then. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh -oh. Mm. Uppercut champ. There you go. I knew it was coming. Uppercut champ. Them uppercuts is, is hurting that boy. God damn, man. This dude and Gulo can take some punishment, bro. Hell yeah, he can. God damn, this is this a tough ass Colombian dude, man. Them them dudes from fucking Colombia and Argentina and it's tough, man. Yeah. Uh he said you're right, bro, but it, it 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 was something to watch. It was, you're right, it is something to watch. I, I love boxing and this is one of my favorite fighters. I, I oh did he they called a fight. Fight over with. Fight over with. Thank you. Who who called it? Pedro? Yeah, the Pedro. He was taking too much punishment. Yeah, man. He was taking too much punishment. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga Pedro said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said no more. No, no, no more. No more. Stop the fight. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you, I know what it is. It was the motherfucking uppercuts in that last in that last uh 15 seconds of that fight. Yeah, bro. Right God. here. Right here. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. That was nice. Oh, that was that ear hole early in that round. Fuck that. Show them uppercuts at the end of that fucking round. Yeah. Them shits right like, there was like. That Ooh. right hand is vicious, boy. That nigga David Benavidez got a mean ass right hand. Caleb Plant, I Caleb Plant, right my here. nigga. Look right here. Look at that. Bow. I thought he was gonna drop right then. The way he went forward. Man, he tough, dog. He tough, bro. That right hand, bro. He got hit with that right hand all night. Yeah, he did. Mm. Right there in that ear. How many times did he catch them ear shots, man? It's gonna be a hard test for both of them. Either way, yeah. He just got to get his belt back now. Hey Reggie Holiday, I my cousin say the same thing, man. Um, it's a lot Lopez, of people. I know Lopez. How nigga? How? I'm, hey, the reason, hey, I can I can tell you how. Loma got a whole lot of offense. He throw a lot of punches, and he got power shots with it. His de his offense is his defense. Because you throw punches and so is he. He's coming in from all angles. I can see how he do it, but at the same time, he's fighting a counter punch. The same way he lost when he lost to uh, uh, Orlando Salido, he lost to a counter puncher. It's going to be tough. 
I'm not saying it's going to be easy for either one of them. Whoever wins this fight is going to be a great fight. I'm looking forward to it, but I still think Tio Fimo going to come in here and win this fight. Yeah. It's, it's it's, a fight for both. Yeah, that's what I, I knew. One, I knew David Benavid got a long ass fucking reach, man. Three inches ain't a bad difference. It's not, but nigga, it's still a difference. Yeah. Three you inches. Know. You know. <laughs> Damn. At least you get a WBC necklace. <laughs> they put my boy Bell. He don't get shit. He don't get a defense or none of that. Now, after this, nigga, you need to go straight to a fight camp and get ready to fight uh, somebody. Go, Matter of fact, go get that IBF title. Nah, he need to he need to go and fight your them, get that bitch by five hundred extra thousand dollars and get and get your belt back. Yeah. Get it over with. Go challenge, yeah, go challenge the WBC and get your belt back. Go fight for your title. Or go I want I know this hoe can beat Callum Smith. Go get the go get that W uh that W did it was a WBA? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go get that WBA time. I know you can be Caleb. Caleb, Caleb Plant got the IBF. Yeah. So, I, I yeah. Told you we was going to win. I knew we was going to win. I'm a David Benavidez fan. That's my team. Yeah, we, bro, we knew David Benavidez was going to win. I thought that Gulo was going to give him some work. And Gulo couldn't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, this nigga, man, David Benavidez came in this fight clean. Don't, don't look like he been touched. Even this fight don't look like he got to get touched. Boy said a hundred pushups. <laughs> he said, "Get back into into position." Yeah, that's all he got to do is get back in the position, Carla. He said, "I would, I would want a bit. I would want a bit." Yeah. Now you said six, six to eight. That was the tenth round. I said nine. I said eight, nine. That was the tenth round. <laughs> That was a that was a good fight, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, gave us something to watch. And I, I I really enjoyed, you know. what I'm saying just getting back in the boxing. I, I missed it. He's been, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say that it was just the best the best fights. But I will say this: they better than what. To, um, top, I ain't even been watching top rank fights. Them been some straight garbage fights. Yeah, they better than these. These cards was better than top ranks, man, because it was more competitive. What's up with it, D Bevel the champ? I appreciate you coming through in that stupid super chat. He said, Yeah, you got me. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you owe us a hundred push-ups, nigga. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Because we did say late round stoppage, and it was that the tenth round or the eleventh round? Tenth round. That was, the, that was yeah. right as the tenth round. round. <laughs> nigga Pedro said, No, no, no. Hell yeah. Nah. yeah. He knew he knew if his fighter would have kept going, he'd have got hurt. He was getting hurt, bro. He might have he might have didn't get knocked out, but dog, he was getting fucked up. Yeah, he was getting hit flush. You don't want to, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I I liked it. Uh, David Benavidez, his his uh his accuracy, dog. He accurate as fuck, bro. Yeah, he is. He, he is. really is. And he and when he got your ass timed, he gonna he gonna let loose on your motherfucking ass, man. <laughs> and that's what's crazy. It didn't take him long to figure dude out at all. It didn't take him long at all to figure that dude out. Yeah, man, and that's and that's off of Fat Camp and the whole. This nigga been out there about out the ring for a whole year and a half. Nigga ain't fought since 2019, my nigga. So yeah. Anthony Durrell, he was supposed to fight your Durham, but your Durham got hurt. Yep. Yeah. Uh, everything everybody said about me is true, man. You know what I mean? I'm, you know what I mean? Um, I should be a professional coming in at weight, 
But there was just, you know, like this, this time I couldn't do it. This is my first time not making weight in eight years. Me being professional, man. So, you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I go yeah, he fucked himself when he didn't make that weight, man. But I... I Get your belt back, champ. Just get your belt back. You did what you supposed to do tonight, man. You stopped this dude. Get your fucking belt back, man. Don't let nobody else get that motherfucking belt because you had a, a fat count, man. Yep. That quarantine, bro. Nah, I get it. I get it. I get it, man. Shit, boys eating good, fucking, drinking, drinking sodas and shit, eating fucking Twinkies and ice cream, and all. I get it. You know what I'm because you, don't go, you can't go nowhere, so you order a piece. Now nah, I'm in Houston. Um, one, we in Houston, champ. I don't know. I can't get the last. The last. Well, yeah, time. Yeah, you Man, you can find me on Instagram and stay ready to box. Yeah, yeah. Follow, follow me on Smoke City Mobcast on Instagram too. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you need to make a post to your Facebook page. I do. I do. I was thinking about that. I help you out. It's up to my. It's up to me. You can uh, you can do one and link it. Just just make it from your Instagram. That way they link together. What's next? Yeah. What do you want next? I really got to talk to my promoter and see what's next. I, I don't mind fighting anybody. You know I mean? I'll fight anybody to get back to the spot I was. I don't have a problem fighting nobody. Yeah. Yeah. By this performance, yeah. you know, I can put a great performance against anybody. You know, if people are paying money. You know what I mean? I mean, they cheated Rowley like that. Man. I mean, they cheated uh, Jackson like that. Him, you know what I mean? so, make, so make sure next time I'm like, well, listen. Yeah, man. I'm listening to him, him. Uh, he's talking to Brian Custer right now, man. He really bad. He really feel bad about himself not making weight. He say he embarrassed himself. He did. Oh damn, bro! You know David Benavidez trying to be a father. Uh -huh. So he have been fucking. <laughs> you been doing a lot of fucking, boy. You finna be a daddy? Hey, on top of that, that right there just let me know why he missed weight. <laughs> <laughs> you been, yeah, I get it now. I, okay. You been, yeah. We've been quarantining since March. So you probably been fucking since by November, October. You know what I'm saying? He said his girlfriend have a baby like in two weeks. Yep. So. Congratulations to you, champ. Congratulations. Then you be, and then you know you're gonna damn near eat what she eat because you're getting them symptoms too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get it now. I get it, man. That's why that's why that's why your ass ain't can't make weight because your ass been laid up with your baby mama. You know what I'm saying? I get it now, man. I mean shit. I mean it was a it was a good man. All bro gotta do now, man. He take about a week or two off, get back in the motherfucking gym, start back training, and he should make weight next time. Cause David, I mean, it ain't like David been a video's miss weight all the time. This was his first time missing weight. Damn, come here about the fight. I thought he I thought he retired. Who? Come here. Daniel, come here. Oh yeah, he finna fight uh uh Stipe. What? Yep. Man, I'm gonna have to. I might have to. Man, check where my phone is. There you go. I right, watch. It. He said uh. He said he said three weeks. Come here. He said so. He said so. You're five oh three, and your boy has stay ready. Yeah, I'm stay ready boxing. And that's 503. I'm stay ready. That's 503. He says David Benavidez come back with discipline. He smokes Galeb Galeb Kane. Damn 408 480 Valley boy 602. <laughs> hey man, y'all make sure y'all y'all uh, hit the subscribe button on the channel too, and make sure y'all smash that like button. I, I man, we we had fun today, man. Uh, it's y'all gonna start getting more videos like this for me. I, I think I might do another one. If uh, I'm, I'm I'm really thinking about doing this for the, the Charlo brother fight too. I might go live during their fight. 
I might uh five oh three. We're gonna do five oh threes for the um for the Terrell Boucher and uh, Eric Saluba fight. Definitely gonna gonna be on his live for that one. We're gonna try to you know try to help grow his channel, y'all. Make sure y'all go over to five oh three line right here on YouTube. Go subscribe to him, man. Yeah, man. Um, I you know I, I think this is how we should do it for the Charlos. You could go because you know they're gonna split it up. Like they gonna yeah. have all on in the morning. I mean in the earlier time. Then they gonna back down and do mail. So you probably can do mail. I mean mile and I do mail. We can do that. You know what I'm saying? That way everybody can just leave my live and go to yours. Mm hmm Yeah. That way we set it up real nice. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be good, man. I got hey, matter of fact, if you want to, I'm gonna buy the fight so you can come over here and watch it. Okay, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I'm buying the fight. I ain't I ain't missing that fight. Oh no, oh no, we ain't missing that. He is not missing that. No, sir, no sir. He said do that for the Charlo twins fight. That would be that would be an event. Yeah, got to call uh because I know a lot of people ain't gonna get to ain't, ain't gonna be able to buy it because of everything that's going on. Uh everything that's going on with uh with with, with, with corona and everything and people missing out on their jobs. So I'm 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 gonna buy the fight and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna do a live on it. And now I don't stay in Phoenix one, I'm in Houston, Texas. You know, you know, and the Benavides is getting a lot of love out here in Texas, bro. They get love in Texas. Matter of fact, I got a picture of me and Jose Benavidez on, on my uh, Instagram. I, I, I fuck with Jose and I fuck with David. I fuck with him. He said, I'm in San Diego chasing this cheese. Shit. You got to. I'm in Houston chasing this cheese. Got to get it how I live. Yeah, it was a good night of a good night of boxing, man. Did you uh? I got I got to go on my zone now and check to see your fight. Yeah, let me know, man. Uh, I, cause I'm, I'm for the I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna go. You know what it is, <laughs> but I am for the check the fight out. But man, we had fun tonight. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, we'll get back on tomorrow. You want to do it on your channel or mine? Oh yeah, we can uh. We we gonna do a live on my channel, man. The post fight thoughts, man. It's a whole bunch of most shit we got to get into. Um, we still got a whole bunch of fights coming up in August, man. Uh, Aleda Alvarez versus Joe Smith Jr. That's gonna be a good one. Um, post style versus uh Ramirez is gonna be another good fight. That's gonna be on ESPN Plus. Not gonna lie to y'all, I'm going with Joe Smith. Yeah. I went with I went with Bivol versus Joe Smith, and I told y'all Bivol was going to be next there. week. Next week on the zone, uh, it's going to be Dillian White versus Pavikin. Um, and then I think uh, who else we got next week? Sean Porter versus Sebastian um, Formella. If I'm who not mistaken, is that dude, man? I don't know, bro. I've been trying to figure out, bro. I've been looking for highlights and everything. I'm like, who the fuck is this dude? Like for real, they went and found something out the woodworks for this boy. I yeah, fuck with Sean, but my nigga, you better not do that guy. No ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah, man, it's gonna. It's, I, I think that's gonna be a a, a good win for Sean, an easy win for him. You know, they just trying to keep him um keep him busy. Cause you know Danny, Danny fighting Earl and then uh Keith Thurman trying to fight. You know Keith Thurman been trying to fight Terrence Crawford, man. We're gonna talk about that too. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I actually wanted to talk about that. I was gonna make a video about that. Okay, okay. Well I ain't gonna yeah, say the video once a week now, so I'm pretty, I'm trying to get back into the into the motion of, uh, of dropping these videos. I also said uh, if I get this job, I'm gonna be working graveyard. I might, I might start doing them five o'clock's again. If it, okay. And I'll let you okay. have the eight o'clock slot. Bit. That, that way, it works out for you and works out for me. I just got to see what this job talking about first. So they talking about making me work graveyard. 
Yeah. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, I'm I'm about to log into my design right now, but I think uh I, I don't know if the see you still fighting, but we about to check it out right quick, man. Huh? Is she the main event? Yeah, she is. She the main event. Hey, uh, McCaskill ain't no ain't no punk either. So I think I think, but I still think what's I think uh, Cecilia win is fight. Yeah, she gonna win, man. She gonna she gonna uh, she gonna be in the history books, man. Yeah, yeah, already in the history books. Oh, no, nah, shit, nigga, she if she can win tonight, nigga, she gonna she gonna break Joe Lewis' record, twenty six title defenses. Twenty six, my boy. So yeah. you gotta have to do something about that, baby girl. Yeah, I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see these. Uh, man, I'm ready for this shit to end so we can start. I'm ready to start going back to fights, man. That's what I miss. I miss being at the fights. And get, see, and one, one, I'm gonna tell you, once y'all start subscribing to my channel, bro. Uh, what y'all will get to see is foreign footage from these fighters at the gym. Y'all gonna see me live at local fights and shit like that. Y'all gonna get to see actual fight footage that y'all don't normally get to see anywhere else and shit like that. So, yeah, y'all make sure y'all come. Oh, Lewis Hinn said Braggers did not win. What? Greg is lost, bro. That's what I said. I told you McCaskill ain't no bitch. Hold on. I got to go this shit. That's the McCaskill. I don't see it. They don't give me the result. Oh, somebody wrote each round down, but yeah, it lost, bro. And I see it on his own page. Damn. Well. I go to fight that everybody wanted to see with uh Cecilia Brackus and uh Clarissa Shields. Yo, Clarissa Shields just posted on Twitter. Congratulations, Jessica Caskill. That was wow, that was whoa. Fight was close, but the judges had it for. I don't disagree. She did more work, but dang, lady rematch rematch her design USA. They saying that was a good ass fight. Everything I'm looking. She won undisputed too. Stops brackets from breaking Joe Lewis's record. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh, you know, you know who I gotta hear from now? For none. What's up, Cadillac Red, my brother? Bro, bro, I man, you should have been on here with us tonight. I need your email, man. Uh inbox me on on uh Inbox me on uh, on Insta Instagram your email so I can start getting you on when I be going live, bro. Cause uh, we could have been we could have been getting the updates from you on the zone. Cause we was over on David Benavidez. Yeah. Yeah, man. They going in on on, on Twitter right now, man. Goddamn twin, little twin then posted, said robbery. Devin Haney said bank robbery. <laughs> On what? Who they talking about? On that rolling fight, nigga. Yeah. You know what, right? 
Shit, okay. you know Benavidez and, and um Otto Wallin won by knockout. So shit, it's only one more fight they talking about. Mm-hmm. And that robbery, nigga, we just seen nigga Roley got that motherfucking Mayweather decision. Bro, no, nah, he got Oscar De La Hoya's decision. Uh 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 <laughs> Oscar De La Golden Boy, man, man, bro. Every time I watch a De La Hoya, I mean a, a Golden Boy card, it's always a questionable judging call every time bro every time that 118 110 my nigga I won't be surprised if somebody go in the spawn with Roller just to punish him And that's how you know it's real, bro. This nigga Tank even laughing at this nigga talking about Roly ass. Then Ryan Garcia backed out and said, laughing my ass off, damn, robbed without a gun. Yeah. Talking about that shit, bro. <laughs> my grandma said robbery, too. Damn. Facts, bro. Grandma knows she talking about it, man. Yes, she do. And I'm a Roly fan, dog. Like... Damn, dog, they robbed the shit out there, dude. Man, that don't make no fucking. I can't get over that shit, dog. That, that, shit, that, shit, that shit gonna that shit ain't gonna ain't gonna sit right with me for a while, man. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't like to see dudes work their ent- entire life, man, to 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 finally get a title shot, then get robbed because of fucking politics, man. Yeah, and people wonder why a lot of people don't watch the sport of boxing because shit like that. Dude. Shit like that. I'm gonna continue. I'm a fan of the sport. It's my favorite sport, but that's what y'all gonna get from me. You know what I'm saying? Every now and again, y'all might see me talk about another sport. You know what I'm saying? I didn't drop videos about college basketball and you know my thoughts on Kat Kaepernick and some other shit. But for the most part, it's boxing over here. Over here. Boxing, and then y'all get the trail talk, no pillow talk, which y'all will get Monday. Yes, sir. We ain't Man. Going- this nigga Ryan Garcia said Roley's corner lied to him all night. Oscar De La Hoya said this guy should never mention your name in his vocabulary ever again. He sucks balls. Damn. <laughs> I wonder what AB got to say. That's what I want to hear from. Everybody going in on Roley, bro. God damn. Even your own stable mate, man. That's crazy. Damn. Damn. What matter of fact, let me go on this bit. Yeah, man. It was a uh, shout out to Benavidez, man. I, I like I say, man, I like that kid, man. He still he got the whole boxing world ahead of him, bro. 23 years old, man. He got a Another good 10 years left up in him. He gonna be the he is the free show boxing man. I still want to see him versus Caleb Plant. Um all he gotta do is get his belt back, man. I think by the if he, he fought in uh this August, he can come back around January, February, man, you know, have his baby with his girl and um try to fight Yurdum and, and shit, man. I think what I think he should do. He should either shoot for that for that Cinco de Mayo, him and Plant, or they should fight in September yeah. Mexican holiday. I, I, you should, you should, bro. That'll be perfect because you can steal that hoe from uh, Canelo and actually give us some real fights. Yeah, because Canelo, run- yeah, because Canelo running out of opponents, man. He yeah. running out of opponents, man. You gonna have to fight some of the and, and PBC Canelo fighters. You gonna have to fight. Them. Cause everybody ain't nobody taking yeah. that bullshit paydays no more. Ain't nobody looking at your motherfucking weight clauses and all that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got paid money. These, these motherfuckers trying to come in. Look, I, I'm I'm already made man. I can make money. Canelo ducking. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that bitch been ducking. Oh, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I really, really, really want to see Canelo at 168. If he gonna stay at 168, 
I want to see him fight one of them top guys. I don't want to see you fight no bullshit motherfucker. I want to see you fight David Benavidez, Caleb Plant, uh, Callum Smith, or Billy Joe Saunders. Quit fighting all these other bullshit motherfuckers. You beat Billy Joe Saunders easily, in my opinion. But the people you're going to have problems with is Caleb Plant and, 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 and Caleb Plant and, and Callum Smith. And the reason I say that is, is because the type of fighters that are. I know you can't beat David Benavidez. So I'm not even mentioning him because I know for a fact you can't beat David Benavidez. For one, you got to get on get get inside of that motherfucker. And then I saw them uppercuts tonight that lets me know if you get on the inside, it's good. Who gonna get hurt first? But but Caleb Plant and Callum Smith, yeah. You know, it's a lot of motherfuckers really be discrediting Callum Smith. I can't. And I'm not. Yo, Julio Martinez, he is the man. I'm going to tell you again, I believe Canelo is the man. But at the same time, you the man. Why ain't you fighting no top opponent? If you the man, why are you still fighting garbage, garbage opponents? Rocky Fielding, my nigga. Rocky motherfucking Fielding. Then you go up and you fall. Every time I think about this fight, that shit pisses me off. But you 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 went to 175 and, and you fought this well, I, I can't even think of the bitch name right now because I don't I hate him that much. You fought this racist bitch who didn't even fight the crusher. What's his name? 503. Who? Oh. 175 fight. Uh I hate him that much. I, I I I don't even be trying to say his name. Yeah, yeah, Kovalev, bitch ass. Yeah, uh, yeah, the crusher Kovalev, that bitch. I don't like him. Racist bastard. But woman, yeah. woman, dude, yeah. racist. Uh, but look, check this out. Check this out, Julio. And now he ain't fought all champions too. He fought a lot of champions. I give him that. I get. I get. Look, I'm I'm one of the few people I give Canelo his props. But I'm also I'm also I'm also getting his ass for a lot of the bullshit that he do too. Kovalev was paid to lose that fight, and can't nobody tell me different. Go watch every Kovalev fight you ever fucking seen in your fucking life, and then go watch that fight he fought uh, Canelo and tell me that was the same Kovalev. It was. I don't care. I don't care. You can come with any argument you want to, man. That was the one saying, "Yeah, you're right." Kovalev ain't never threw a pity pat jab in his life. Vegan fit, Kovalev is racist. We have to, you want to talk about that? We'll we'll go all the way back. We'll go all the way back. We'll talk about that monkey shirt and when he was calling my boy a monkey. Yeah, he racist. Yeah, we got we can we can bring up I can bring up old videos and everything. Yeah. But we ain't gonna talk about that. I don't like that nigga. But Kovalev was paid to lose that fight. I don't think he was paid to get knocked out or not. Go watch how he fought that fight. Bro, have you ever seen Kovalev throw a pity pet jab in your fucking life? Ever. Ever. We I'm a boxing fan. I've been watching boxing for years. Years. Never seen it. Bro, Kovalev is one of the few people I've seen get a knockdown with a jab. Kovalev is one of the few people I've ever seen him get a knockdown with a jab, my nigga. Vegan, okay, you can vote Trump out if you want to. I give a fuck. But Kovalev, I just seen him knock somebody down with a jab. That boy racist motherfucker. Back to you, uh, Vegan Fit. But I ain't never seen him throw no pity pad jabs like he did. Thank you, Boxing King. He owe us an actual challenging fight. He ain't fought nobody challenging. He he was at 160. You fought one dude at 160 worth fighting that was Triple G. Kovalev wasn't washed up when he knocked out uh, Alita Averez. Kovalev damn to beat, beat my boy. Hold on. Okay.
What was that motherfucker? Yeah, Anthony Yard. He, you see how he did Anthony Yard? You know what I'm saying? We, we not gonna sit here and act like he ain't. Coverdale just washed up, bro. The only fight that he lost was the Andre Ward and the, and the Canelo. Oh, and he did get knocked out by uh, uh, Lita Alvarez first, and then came back and beat the shit out of Lita Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? And that first fight of Andre Ward, I had Coverdale winning that fight. I, I, I believe Andre lost that fight. No bullshit. But that second fight, Andre won that. The body shots was vicious. Body shots was fucking him up. Yeah. We're not gonna sit here and act like Canelo and gave us no no great fights. He been giving us bro, Canelo's numbers, video, uh uh his his rating numbers been going down. Yeah, here come Lawrence. Oh man, here come Loud Out, Loud Out that came through. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Cecilia watched. But I ain't gonna say she watched though. They say it was a close fight. I'm gonna go back and watch that fight. He said, I also believe Andrade lost. What first fight? What fight you talking about Andrade lost? What what first fight did Andrade lose? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about with that one. Andrade never lost a fight, man. I don't even like that bitch. But I he ain't never. And I didn't and I didn't and I and I didn't interview two of his coaches right here on this channel. I'm not an Andrade fan. Look, Juan, Juan Rios even came through. I don't like Canelo. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually uh, I like Canelo, but I just hate that. when he stopped fighting top opponents, I quit fucking with him. I can't. I can't. I I, I can't. He got to fight somebody for me to, to start back believing in. Him. I, I I'm not gonna sit back and just act like Canelo is the end, is the, is the best thing smoking and boxing. And he's not like for real. He's not. Floyd is the best ever. No, that's a lie. That's a goddamn lie. He, is he one of the greatest ever? Yeah, he yeah. is. That's my fucking lady. He said, my bad. I meant Ward versus Cole. Yeah, I believe Ward lost the first one. I do. I do think Ward lost the first one. I'm not going to lie to you. He said, you are all talking about whom is number two, huh? What are you talking about? You know what you do talking about? What he said? Undefeated don't mean shit. Andre Ward retired undefeated. Rocky Marciano retired undefeated. Rocky Marciano even top five heavyweight. But he had 50 something in those fights. And he undefeated. Would you would you say Rocky Marciano was the, is the greatest heavyweight of all time? Hell no. And Floyd only got one more better fight than him. Hell nah, bro. Mar Rocky Marciano fought in the weakest time of the heavyweights, but it ain't that's not his fault. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd he fought great numbers. But Floyd is not the greatest fighter ever. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm just giving y'all an example. It's a fighter right now. It's like 83 and 0 and still fighting. But he fighting way down there in like a flyweight. Man on weight. Can't remember that little that little Asian kid name. He doing this motherfucking thing. Ain't nobody mentioned him. He gonna fuck around and retire undefeated. Is he done? Is is he the greatest fighter ever? No. But then you got fighters like you got fighters like Muhammad Ali. Lost. Went back and avenged his loss. And beat the people he lost to. You got fighters like Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield is probably one of the greatest fighters of all time. You got Sugar Ray Robinson. Floyd could never touch Sugar Ray Robinson ever. Henry Armstrong. Henry Armstrong had belts, fought in many different weight classes, and didn't even change his weight. Sugar Ray Robinson went up to fight a heavyweight, and the only reason he lost because he got dehydrated in the fight. Them are greatest fighters ever. Them motherfuckers right there? Shit. Them are some of the greatest. Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest fighter ever, in my opinion, and nobody's better than him. Nobody. 
Henry Armstrong is number two on my list. And he gets left off everybody's list. Motherfuckers forget that this motherfucker was 135, 147 fighting middleweights and beating their ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Roy, my, uh, Floyd is not nowhere comparable to them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. Julio Cesar Chavez, Pernell Whitaker, greats. Hector Camacho, greats. These are great fighters. You know what I'm saying? Hands of Stone, greats. Sugar Ray Leonard, greats. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather, no. No. Who was one of the. <coughs> oh, man, yeah, Salvador Sanchez was a beast. His career got ended too early. <coughs> Shit. Salvador Sanchez was a motherfucker. Floyd not up there, man. Roy Jones Jr. Let's talk about Roy. Roy, people, a lot of people think about his, his end career after the 12 and Glenn Johnson fight, after he got knocked out by them. That is not the same Roy before the 12 fight. Roy Jones before the 12 fight was the greatest. Am I lying, 503? Roy Jones, the reason you like boxing, ain't it? Yup. I'm going to let you talk about Roy. Man, expound on Roy for the ball. Man. Ain't nobody never done it like Roy Jones Jr., bro. Um, one of the only fighters to excite boxing fans based off of just pure athleticism and and pure motherfucking me skills. Like, Roy Jones is one of them dudes, man, where you can just watch all his fucking early fights and highlights and fall in love with the sport. You know what I'm saying? I think the only thing that fucked up Roy is he never stayed at a weight class. He always moved up, came back down, moved up, moved up, came back down. You know what I'm saying? But I think if Roy would have just made up his mind and said, I'm going to stay at 160, I'm going to stay at 168, I'm going to stay at 175, I think he would have been better off doing that. But he was just so naturally gifted and, and had the skill to, to to fight all these dudes, he that's why he did it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he always took the best available fights, man. You can't never. Roy is the is the epitome of going for the gusto because he always took the best available fights, bro. He fought everybody. You can't never say Roy Jones dug anybody, bro, because he didn't have to fight Antonio Tarver. He didn't have to fight Bernard Hopkins. He didn't have to fight James Tarver. He didn't have to fight none of these dudes if he didn't want to, bro. You know what's crazy? Was everybody was calling him a duck because he didn't want to fight Bernard Hopkins again. But he already beat him, and it wasn't close when he beat him the first time. Yeah, they fought again later down the line. But the yeah. first it wasn't close. One thing I can say about the uh, Roy Jones. Say nobody knew who Bernard Hopkins was. Yeah. Roy been the man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody know who who who, who Tarver was, bro. But he been the man. You know what I'm saying? Fair. So. One thing I'm going to say. About, about Roy Jones is Roy Jones came into an era of boxing where people were still he brought a new style of fighting to the game. Nobody was fighting like Roy. Roy brought a new style of boxing to the game. He brought a new excitement to the game. And then he started he took away where most people was throwing jabs. Like he threw jabs. He faint he actually used his jabs as dummies for the most part. But his punches he he led with hooks and you didn't know where they were coming from because his hands was down. And like he said, that's why they called him Captain Hook. Because the way he just, he, he'll be sitting there playing with you and all of a sudden he just come at you with this lead left hook out of no motherfucking work. And you're like, what the fuck? That that whole style was was new. The only person that knew about it was Antonio Torval because they, they, they fought in the amateurs and Antonio Torval beat him in the amateurs. He knew how to fight him. He knew how to fight Roy. 
he was ready for what Roy had to dish out, but nobody else knew how to fight Roy like that. And it was different. It was different. It was exciting. Roy brought excitement to the sport. Roy was knocking boys out. And then when he knew he could knock them out, he he didn't knock them out. He played with them and gave you your money worth. He said, the only reason I took him 12 rounds because I know I can knock them out, but these folks paid to come see a fight. You know what I'm saying? Them are great fighters. Now, what I will give Floyd Mayweather, though, before we get up off of here tonight, Floyd Mayweather is the greatest defensive fighter of all time. That I can't take away from Roy. Because the object of the game is to hit and not get hit, and Roy is the king of that. You know I'm, I'm telling you, Roy is the king of that. Julio Martinez said, cool, thanks, man. I always, I'm, 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 I give props when props is due, man. That's one thing I will do because I, I, I am a, I'm a fan of the sport. I still go back and watch old fights. Like during this quarantine, I don't watch, man, I watch, I watch Mariaga, uh, Oscar De La Hoyas. I watch Tommy Hearn versus, uh, Versus uh, 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 damn, I can't even think his name right now. I don't know why I've been drinking today. So, y'all, if I get names fucked up, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? But I watch some old Tommy Hearn fights, I watch old Roy fights, I watch um, I watch um, I watch I went back and watched Lennox versus Evander again. I watched that fight again. I went back and watched uh, Tyson versus Burp uh, Burbick again. I went back and watched that one. I went back and watched my old greatest fight, the greatest fight of all time in my eyes, George Foreman versus uh, damn, his motherfucking name was going to her. I could, I could, I gotta get this one. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if y'all haven't watched this George Foreman fight. You really, really need to go watch this goddamn fight. I swear to fucking God. It, it, man, hold on. Run, run Lives. Run Lives. I went and watched. That's my favorite fucking fight. I think that is the greatest fight of all fucking times. It's, it's George Foreman versus Ron Lives. That is like. I mean, both people get knocked down. Somebody ended up getting knocked out, and they was going hard. Like, that is the greatest fight of all time. Yeah, Lyle says to Slim, that is the greatest fucking fight of all time. I went back and watched I went back and watched some old Joe Lewis fights. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've been I just, I love watching old fights. Hector, Hector Camacho Jr. watched some of his old fights. That used to be my favorite fighter at one time. Love Hector Camacho. Macho Camacho, you know what I'm saying? Pernell Whitaker fights. Man, Marco, Marco Antonio Barrero went back and watched some. Matter of fact, I went back and watched when he beat the shit out of uh, Prince Nassim. That boy beat the shit out of Prince Nassim. I love watching old boxing. Y'all boxing heads, man, the best thing to do, get you a good fix. Go back and watch some of them old fights and see what, you, what, what today's state of boxing is missing. That's why I have a problem with fighters like Canelo and shit like that. Because y'all got fighters that steady calling you out and you steady going around them because you don't want to. I don't know if you don't want to fight them or your team don't want you to fight them. But man, it's more money fighting these guys and fighting these bullshit fights. You're going to get your fan, but you're going to you beat them. Your fan base grows. You know what I'm saying? To Gerardo Harrell, actual Anthony Joshua, the humble bragging boxer who's king of self promotion, true. But you're supposed to be. You're supposed to promote yourself. So I'm not going to knock him. That's what you're supposed to do in this game of boxing. But man, we've been on here for going on three hours, man. I appreciate everybody coming through tonight, man. Uh, shout out to everybody in that super chat and everybody in that chat, man. Uh, we're going to get back to we're gonna get back to boxing, man. It's coming back and we got some great fights coming up. We're going to be talking about it. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Go subscribe to my brother 503 Line because we're going to be back tomorrow. He said, stay ready. You have any other 
Oh, light lights for your pistol. Huh? No, what lights? What kind of lights? I don't know. Oh, light lights for you. I don't put lights on my pistol. He talking about them. He talking about them. Uh, them, them, them big lights on the pistols, bro. Yeah, the the lights at the bottom, right? Yeah, I really don't put light. I don't do the lights on the pistol. Yeah, you know, stay ready, a country nigga, man. He got aim regardless. Like a motherfucker. When I point, I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Not shoot. City niggas, he don't need noise on my left. I point where I heard that noise from, and that's why I shoot. That's me. And nine times out of ten, uh, I'm good aim. It, it, on average height, I'm aiming for the chest every time. For man, for man, hey, five hundred three, go ahead and close us out, bro. Hey man, salute to the chat, man. This has been another ringside views live, man. Benavidez versus Angulo, man. I appreciate everybody that came through today, man. Much love to the chat, everybody that donated with the super chats to cash out, man. All the new subscribers, man. If you're new to the channel, man, please subscribe to my brother, man. Stay ready, boxing TV, man. We're gonna be doing this every fight, man. All the fights that we want to go live for, man. We're gonna do this, man. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I came to stay ready and told him, man, he needs to go live for Benavidez because that's his boy, and he came through, man. We got a lot of new people on the on the um on the live stream man so be sure to subscribe man like comment share the video and um i hope y'all liked it man we did bring coach nick on you know what i'm saying um you know he a part of charlo camp he a good friend of ronnie shields man and they work together so he's actually one of ronnie shields coaches yeah so so, so so salute to coach nick man for coming through man salute to to everybody for coming through, like they came through. We had like damn the thirty plus people in the chat, and that and that and that's and that's love, man. Because I know it's a lot of other channels that's live, even brothers in the LDBC that's live right now. We appreciate y'all, man. Um, and I hope y'all liked it, man. But we damn sure gonna be doing this again. Be on the lookout. I'm gonna go live probably tomorrow, and we're gonna do a post fight thoughts, man. And uh, in the in the Probably next week we'll do another one. I'll probably go live on my channel uh, for for the Sean Porter fight and Dillian White fight. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna we're gonna show we're gonna show them fighters some love, man. Boxing is on the up and up, man. We got a lot of great fights coming. You know what I'm saying? The month of August, like I say, man, we got uh, Victor Post, Jose Ramirez. We got Joe Smith Jr. versus Alita Alvarez. We got motherfucking Dillian White versus Pavekin. Next month, we got Terrell Gache versus Lubin. Jerron Ennis on the undercard. Man, that's a fight that I cannot wait to see. Showtime doing a thing. Shouts out to PBC. Then we got fucking Charlo Brothers. Uh, Big Charlo versus Devin and Chinko. Jamel Charlo versus Rosario, man. We also got Tank Davis coming up versus Leo Santa Cruz. Earl Spence Jr. versus Danny Garcia, man. You know what I'm saying? Get my boy Donito Donera. I will go live for that fight. Oh, yeah. And Donito and Donera, too, man. Got a lot of good fighters. Donera, one of my favorite fighters, and I will be going live for that fight. Yeah. Yeah, man. We got a lot of fights we're going to be covering, man. Be on the lookout, man, for the videos. Stay ready. Going to be dropping, man. I've been dropping videos. Be on the lookout for my future videos. Go check out my other videos I did. If y'all haven't already, check out the live streams, man. Be on the lookout for all of the content we dropping, man. And much love to the whole entire LDBC, man. Houston Hard Hitter Gang Gang, man. Usual Suspect Crew and the Berserker Boys, man. Act Reacher, man. Where you at, champ? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, it's just like that, man. And we about this thing, man. H-Time for real, man. Like I say, be sure to subscribe. Smash all the new people that came in the chat today. Subscribe. Smash that like button, man. Follow me, 503 Line, on YouTube. Follow my Instagram page at Smoke City Mobcast. We're going to have a Facebook page coming real soon as well. Follow me on Twitter, 503 Line, man. And make sure you follow my brother, too, man. But it's just like that, man. And we gone. Yeah, and the thermal lights for the night shooting, I don't I don't need all that, bro. I, I got a red light beam on my uh, in, in my scope. It's built into my scope on my uh, AR-15. If I if I need to see at night, 
that that beam will come out. It'll get that ass. Believe me, I'm good. He said, he said, Black Banner, man, appreciate you coming through, man. You know what I'm saying? I was looking for you early. And shout out to Supreme Beast Boxing came through this bit. And shout out one time for Juan uh, uh, Rios. Rios. He been through here all night. He been fucking with me all night, man. Man, hey, you keep coming through, champ. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to give you a, 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 a moderator because, man, I you've been real active and, and you've been fucking with me tonight, man. I, I like that shit like that, man. Shout out to everybody that came through, man. Same thing to you, uh, Julio Martinez. Julio, yeah, more. Julio Martinez, man. Keep coming back, man. I, I like that. I really like, especially when people come through as fans and we can actually discuss and we don't have to argue going back and forth. We actually have real discussions about the sport because that's what I'm about. I love to talk boxing. And, you know, we can keep talking boxing. And make sure y'all like this video. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all thought about everything tonight. You know what I'm saying? Share this video on all your social media platforms to help grow the channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that bell like icon so you can get the notification when I go live. Because I don't always do boxing. I got some other stuff. Like, I bring y'all business videos. I talk about guns. I do shit like that, too. I even got videos of me at the gun range. So y'all come through, check me out, and we're going to fuck around, man. And I appreciate everybody coming through. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out to everybody in that super chat, man. I appreciate everybody in that in that super chat, man. And it's your boy, Matt, with, with Stay Ready Boxing TV. And you ain't got to get ready if you stay ready, man. Peace. Peace.